and welcome everybody. My name is Kismet. <laughs> Holy mackerel do I got a big show lined up for you guys today. Of course, that's why we call this the Mega Stream. Every night's a Mega Stream because I am just bringing you more and more and more epic stuff up here in the stream. You will not believe how much stuff I've got lined up. Well, today, well, I mean, in now and in the future, uh, but right now we've got Fallout 76 going on tonight. All three platforms. That's right. We're going to blaze every platform today. We're going to go ahead and play a little bit of PC just to go in, get some cash, get my main character going. Then we're going to go ahead and get going for that. Thank you, Blair and Fire, for that host. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and play all those in just a moment. Uh, as well as we're going to go and uh, play it on Xbox as well. So if you want to join me on Xbox in just a bit, uh, let me know. Now I'm going to play probably about an hour or so of each platform because we have just got too much stuff. We got too much stuff to pack in. So on top of that, we're also going to play the brand new early access blades, which actually everybody didn't get. I realized uh, I got my notice today that said, Kismet. Here you go. <laughs> so I got it lined up on the uh, on the iPad right here. Look at that. Look at my cool. Look at my cool thing did for me. Right, mighty skin. See why get why just sell get a boring case uh, when you can have your own custom one with mighty skin. Show them some love. Go over there, use that code. Get get some money off. It's only like a couple bucks. I mean, for a couple bucks, have your own custom iPad. Hey man, that's the stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my iPad there, uh, and uh, we're gonna play some uh, Elder Scrolls Blades, which just came out. Uh, the second I saw it, I was like, download! <laughs> That's a great, that looks like a great game to play while I'm waiting for my kids or whatever. Now, I'm also going to kind of do a little peek into Assassin Key, uh, Creed, Assassin's Creed Rebellion to show you exactly where I'm at with that. So, we're going to have PC, we're going to have Xbox, we're going to have PS4 and mobile. The only thing more I could do to pack into this thing is I can get my, uh, I can get my Switch out and we can play, uh, some Dance Dance Revolution up in here. Er, er, get a little... Get a little dances, right? With like the hobbits. Wait. Oh, my hobbits. Hold on. My hobbits are broken. My hobbits. Where's my hobbits at? <laughs> Embrace the awkward, everybody. Embrace the silliness that lives down inside of you. Don't be afraid to be a little silly in your life. I bring a little silly to your day. I bring a little positivity, a little bit of an excitement, uh, and all the craziness that we got going on. So Assassin's Creed Rebellion, one of my favorite games now on mobile. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I've been playing it since I think December 2nd, and I have not missed a day. Uh, I've played it every single day uh, because it's awesome. You get in there, Get all your ninjas going. You do your stuff. You do your events. By the way, I was number four. I was number four on the current event right now. Uh, doing a bunch of stuff. And then you say, go do it, ninjas. And then I go and I take care of the rest of my life. <laughs> I do my rest of my day. It's not, it's not one of those games that you have to sit and actively play, much like Fallout Shelter, where you can go in, do some stuff, get all your people queued up, which I'm still play, by the way. Played every couple days because my guys, they take forever to go out and come back. <laughs> <laughs> so I queue them up and I let them go and then I bring them back and I see if they get anything else to unlock any more achievements. Uh, I've been running for over a thousand, I think it's actually 1,100 now. 1,100 real life days, not in game days, 1,100 real life days my my uh, vault has been running. So if we ever really get an issue, I can really make that vault run for a long time. If we get into any issues in real life, remember, this is the guy who could run it run for years on end. <laughs> Uh, so we'll get going. We'll get it going here. Uh, all of that tonight. Oh, oh, Bet Slippy coming in with a sub. Love. We're going to play all that again. Play all that again. I'm muted for just a second. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, play some Astroneer. And you're like, Kesman, that's a lot, bro. That's a lot. That's a that's a super packed Mega stream. How could you get that much in one stream? Well, you know what? We're going to stack on top of that uh, the one we didn't get yesterday, which is, of course, Outward Looks. Looks amazing. Definitely want to get that in. Of course, sponsored event. Mwah! Much love to my sponsors for showing me so much love in here. And, of course, you guys are the ones that got me there. You're the ones that said, Kismet, we got you, bro. We know We know you started off. You had a rough uh, time about four years ago. And, you know, you're trying to get back into it. You're trying to do something that you love to do every day. And you guys come along with me on the journey. And I appreciate it. I appreciate it big time. 
So let's get into it, everybody. We got no time to sit here and yap here at the top of the stream. We got games to play. So we got to say hello to the peeps, and we got to get into the games. So let's say hello to my mods. Of course, they heroes behind the stream. Show them lots of love uh, in the chat. Be awesome by following those chat rules. Uh, oh, cute puppies in the mod chat. <laughs> I'm trying to scroll up. We got too many pictures. <laughs> too many pictures. I'm trying to scroll up through the pictures. Uh, let's see. <laughs> lots of puppies. Uh, let's see, uh, Gwen coming in, Jazz Sands coming in at the top of the stream, show them some lots and lots of love. Of course, Nushi coming in, also part, uh, who's both my mod and all part of my stream team. Hope you guys liked that yesterday. I was so exhausted at the end of that stream. I had been working on that inner overlay and all of that stuff, and I thought I was going to be, when I saw it early in the day, I thought, nah, I got this covered, right? Because Twitch hooked me up, and then Twitch like, sorry, partnered only. Uh, so screwed, got screwed over, but that's okay. I had a fantastic time, can't wait to hang out with my crew again. Next week, we'll try to get even more stuff set up. We'll try to get more people in there. We'll try to play even more people at the same time. Super fun. Super fun. Again, if you want to be part of our stream team, uh, just ask my mods. I'll let you know right there in the chat. Uh, I'd be happy to have you. And uh, if you need some help with your stream and whatnot, I'd be happy to give you some insights that I've learned along the way. Uh, so yeah, uh, Nushi going to come in later. Just me and, of course, Crazy going to be helping out as well. And then Gwen coming in at the end again, <coughs> just in case I go long. Now, of course, I always like to uh, have something to drink. I'm Look, no soda today. I'm being good. You guys are like, kiss me. You're, you're drinking too much soda. I'm trying to catch up on stuff, everybody. I've been working on those loot drops nonstop. Finally get to a part, uh, point where I got those like in the, in the frame of possibility. And you're like, kiss me. What takes you so long in those? Well, a lot of fails by other people. <laughs> a lot of fails by other people. Uh, but I'll take the blame. You know, I, I can shoulder it. Mm, I can shoulder the blame. Now, uh, let's see who else is in the chat here. Uh, let's see. Jazz Ads, I see you in the chat there. Backing me up already. Throwing out those retweets. Well, we got five retweets already. No way. No way. You guys are crushing it. Go out there. Here's what I'll do. I'll make you a deal. You go out and crush five more retweets right now. I'm going to double it up tonight. That's how we're going to do. We're going to give you some fat stacks of caps in your pocket. If you go get those retweets going on, let's throw it in there. And of course, the retweets, you go out and do that. I give you caps. You take those caps, use them on the giveaways, win epic loot. Everybody's happy. <laughs> it helps promote my stream as well as you get the serious wicked loot. Uh, there we go. Who else we got? Google's coming in right into lurking. Hey, that's okay. I'm a, I'm a very lurker friendly stream. Blair and Fire coming in with a hype. We got Howlin' Rabbit saying evening. Good evening, Howlin' Rabbit. I see Raz in there rocking that VIP badge along with Blaring Fire. Look at that sexy diamond you got going there. Awesome, awesome. Uh, look at that. Google's hanging out saying good day uh, as well. Who else we got? Occult is coming in straight into lurk mode as well. I have a lot of people who watch my stream and go straight into lurker mode. <coughs> ah. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, I've been uh, streaming a lot, as you can tell. Uh, but having a fantastic time. I don't know. I, this has got to be one of my favorite months ever. I have just been just been on fire this month. On fire. Thanks to all of your guys' support, for sure. Uh, how's everyone doing tonight? Doing awesome, Burnt Labs. Thanks for being here, buddy. Thanks for being here. Uh, let's see. Fending Metro Exodus was a fantastic game. Hey, I'm down for it, too. But I don't know that old epic thing. But I'll probably get around to it. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Magala coming in saying Assassin's Creed Rebellion. Yeah, I'll show you what it is here later on. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a mobile game. Uh, very fun. You know, just kind of like a little dabbling game. It's not a serious game. It's not, a, you know, Fallout 76. It's not a, you know, Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey, you know, which I played here on stream with another fantastic game, which I don't have enough time to play. <laughs> I try to I try to stay focused. You get too far all over the place, then it's hard. Uh, Kids with mods rule. I totally agree, Walt the Cat. I agree. Thanks for being here. Now, you know what? Last night, I was so tired, I made a mistake. It was my fault, everybody. Hold on a second. It was my fail. Hold on. <laughs> I don't think it's not working. Ah, there we go. It's not working. Try it again. This is a professional stream up in here, everybody. It was my fail. I made a mistake. I missed one of our epic VIPs here in the chat. And I'm going to fix that right now. I'm going to rectify that mistake right now in the chat. I want to see some serious hype right here, of course. Pancakes getting that VIP. Super awesome. There you go, bro. Congratulations on that VIP badge for being an amazing part of the community. Now, I've been dishing those out over the last few days for the people who go in the chat, who say hello, who say, what's up, Kismet, who uh, say hello to people who come in. They blow it up in the chat as well as they blow it up when people hit that subscribe button. They're like, Kismet, I got your back. 
Watch as I blow up some hearts in that chat. Watch as I get on the Kesmet love train. Throw that hype in there for each and every person that comes in. I appreciate all my VIPs. I really do. So thank you, Pancakes, uh, for being awesome, for being a great part of the stream. We really appreciate you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's keep going. Who else we got in the chat? We got uh, El Fuzzy Nuts hanging out. What's up, El Fuzzy Nuts? You coming to play with me today? We're going to play some Xbox. Let's go, bro. In about an hour. In about an hour, we'll play some Xbox. Or maybe less than an hour because I'm... <laughs> I got a huge startup today. Let's see, Unforgiven coming in. Hey, Mr. Winston coming in. Uh, Gray Panther saying hi, kids in chat. Hello, Howlin' Rabbit coming in. Uh, saying hello to Unforgiven. There we go. Uh, wait, I got VIP. You did. You got that sexy, sexy diamond. Look at that. Woo, looking good. Oh, thank you, Kismet. You're welcome, Pancakes. You're welcome. Thank you for being an amazing part of the community. And thank you for all being here. I think it's time for some games. Let's do it with my new interface, by the way, too, so you can see more of the screen when we're playing. Let's go. There we go. Now, look at this. Look at this super clean interface. Now, I love to clean up my interfaces and change them. Uh, I was supposed to change out my December one, which was a holiday one a long time ago, but you know that I'm usually super busy. <laughs> I'm super busy on this stream. I got so much going. I got wife, kids, and of course, uh, trying to always upgrade the stream. There is only one kismet in the day. Uh, or only one kismet and so many hours in the day. Or there's only one kismet in the day, too. I mean, you know, there you go. There you go. The, both those things. Both those things are true. Now, I'm going to get comfy over here. I'm going to settle in. my, Get my shoulders ready for some serious pew pew. Uh, let's do it. Let's fire up. Now, we're on PC right now. So, we're going to go ahead and... Pff, you know who I am, Bethesda. Why do I got to keep signing in every time I load this up? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, everybody. I got to bring up my backdrop. If you're a streamer, do not do not show your logins. That's a, that's a terrible idea. All right, let's get into it. Boom. Let's play some 76. Now, of course, I'm going to play this while we're loading in. Uh, here we go. Let's do it. Let's get in the wasteland. Uh, let's see who's coming in here. Uh, we've got Raz coming in with a host. Burnt Labs with those. Getting those kiss caps. When you slash host my kismet, you're getting kiss caps so you can win those uh, giveaways. Uh, hopefully. I hope you all rock it. And of course, the man himself coming in. Uh, Burnt Labs and Blair and Fire with the host as well as a bit slippy coming in with the wicked, the amazing, the awesome. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. You can do it. There it is. A bit slippy. Look, he's got it all unlocked. He's got every slot. He's got dragon. He's got his dragon wings here in the stream with 16 months of prime sub love. You know, that's actually really hard to do. I actually screwed up my prime uh, sub to Kira Corellia because I was working so hard and I forgot to go in and redo it. And I screwed up my streak. I was on a 25 month streak and I forgot one month and now I'm back to one. Uh, but that's okay. I'm still 27 months subscribed, uh, prime subscribed uh, to Kira Corellia, of course, one of the people who is a, a catalyst for my success here on the stream. My very first large host, uh, it was about 100 people she came in and uh, hosted my channel for, pushed me to the top of Fallout. Look where I am now. Two years later, partnered, doing what I love to do every day, get to hang around with amazing people every single day. Let's get into it. Let's get in. We're going to go adventure mode. Now, I will try out that survival mode eventually. I don't know when I get around to it. When I get around to it, it doesn't float my boat. It doesn't, you know, Fallout is not like a, you know, battle royale game to me. Uh, Fallout is uh, an RPG game. There we go. Speaking of epic people with a 22 months, two months to go. Can you believe that I've had a subscribe button for 22 months? That it's already been almost two years Almost two years since I got that affiliate and got that subscribe button. And some people pressed it right at the very beginning. And Jazz Sands is one of those uh, epic people who pressed that. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. It still stuns me. One, that I'm still alive. <laughs> and two, that I get to do this amazing stuff every day. Uh, so let's get into it. Wow, it's taking a while to load. Try to find another world. I got to have my camp. I got to have my camp. I want to make some quick money uh, up in here. And then we're going to get into it. We're going to have some fun. Uh, why am I not in voice chat? I fell fished my voice chat over here. Hold on. I got to get, I got to scroll past all these puppies again. <laughs> uh, all right. I'll get into mods voice right now. I'll be in with you guys as I get into the different, uh, into the different stuff. So we're going to go about, there we go. Ah, oh, somebody did it without doing it in the chat. There we go. 
Uh, all right. So we'll go ahead and uh, get in that voice chat here in just a bit. But first, we're going to get into some 76. Uh, I don't hear my game sounds. It's always something. Yeah, I think it's because I switched to Xbox. Yeah, for some reason, uh, OBS loves to mute my sound. Whenever I, when I ever, ever I load a game and then I switch to console and I load back, the sound doesn't seem to go. Now, I have a very complex sound set up and I could go into it, but you guys don't have an hour. So, uh, let me just go ahead and fix this. Hold on. We got to, we can't, we can't play, we can't play Fallout without sound. Now, I did get my brand new hammer though. Did you guys see that? Oh man, I love that hammer. That hammer is wicked. We're going to mod that hammer up a bit if we can. Uh, I might have to go more into melee, right? More into melee. Kind of makes me want to start a new character. You're like, Kesman, no! <laughs> I have a problem with restarting. <laughs> I have a problem with restarting the game over and over. Uh, in this case, I, I haven't done it very much in 76, but I have a tendency, I'm a bit of an altarholic, right? I make a bunch of alts. There we go. We can hear it going on. Boom, there we go. Back in here. By the way, they really made the graphics look amazing. They really did a huge upgrade on the graphics. It looks fantastic. Let's go to it. Uh, in the very last patch. Ah, oh, look at my crew. Look at me hanging out with my crew looking sexy. I think it's me. I think I'm the one with the shotgun. It's like it's like spot kismet. Pfizer's was me. It wasn't the power armor for sure because I just recently got power armor. And you're like, Kismet, why are you not uh, 497? It was you, says Pancakes. There you go. There you go. Uh, so we're going to have lots of fun. Uh, we'll test that in a bit, Raz. Don't worry, we'll test in a bit. Definitely want to get in here, do my cash run, I think until the top of the hour. So maybe we'll go about 30 minutes here on PC. Then we'll load up the Xbox. If you want to play with me on Xbox, here's what you do. You hunt me down. My name is Kismet and be like Bravo, P like Papa. And you're like, Kismet, why didn't you just get your name? Kismet. Well, someone else took it. It's my name. I've had it since before they were born. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> but hey, you know, I could go ahead and use that for now. I might actually change it eventually too. Might change it to something else. Got, I got some ideas. I got some ideas. What's this? Hey, beaver. I didn't even know there were beavers in this game. There's an X beaver there now. My base hasn't loaded yet. He's an X beaver. He's an X parrot. All right. Now, of course, uh, what we're going to do, of course, make that money uh, as we do. Now, we don't need to make that money while we're in our power armor. That's just burning money. Uh, burning my, uh, fusion core, so let's get out of there. And look at this! Look what happened! I'm naked! My character is naked! You're like, what are you talking about, Kismet? Character's not naked. He doesn't have his, he doesn't have his glasses on! He doesn't have his fashionable glasses, so that'll have to be a mission today. I hear some people shooting. Who's doing some pew-pew over there? Hello? Somebody doing some pew-pew? Nope. Alright. Well, let's get to it. All right, we got a green thumb on, and we're going to go ahead and put our uh, weapon away, and we're going to just run along the corn here and see if it's giving us any. Nope, none today. Now, sometimes when I log in, uh, if I've been playing long enough, uh, basically it will, uh, in the last session, it will have a ton of stuff here where I can get. Now, I kind of feel like it takes longer to do the corn here than us just go getting the corn. Like, every time we log in... We could go get about 100 or 200 corn like nobody's business. We can go get 100, 200 razor grain from the in-game sources, right? Instead of growing it at your location. So I'm getting to the kind of a point where I'm like, you know, that corn is kind of a waste, right? I would I would rather plant something else there that I could get, right? More more mute fruit, more uh, potatoes, and have that. Maybe four or five rows of mute fruit, four or five rows of potatoes. And then we just go pick up the corn every time, right? And then, of course, we're getting adhesive, right? Now, that adhesive, if you buy it in bulk, is about 170, roughly. 167, really. 170 caps every single time. Now, I got to have that adhesive because that's like the... Hey! Who's there? Hold on. I'm going to shoot in my base. Oh, look at you hiding in the bushes. Kim McGowan said, come say peekaboo. Peekaboo! Where'd you go? I saw you had some 10 millimeter. He's <laughs> rolling down the thing. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right. I thought I saw somebody shooting at my base. See, they sit way back there and they shoot your base way away from your turrets. 
a uh, little little sneaky guys. Now, what I want to do is, of course, put it way up on the edge here. Uh, that's the best place to put your tourists is right up on the edge, both here in 76 and in Fallout 4. You want to put it right up on the edge of your base. So if they're standing way out outside your base, it has a chance of triggering and, of course, sending that Kismet kill box over there to wipe them out. Uh, wiping them out with your turrets. Now that we got that, we're going to go ahead and do a quick little run over here. Now, this is what I call the Kismet Cash Run. So you grab that cash by grabbing that Purify. Whoa, look at that. All of them got five on there. Woo, mama, that's some money in my pocket right there. Now, they do call me the Wasteland Tycoon. I make that big money. Uh, no cheating, no shortcutting, no uh, glitching, none of that. You don't need to do that. That's a waste of your time. You're epic the way you are. Just need a little bit of Kismet tips, and boom, off you go. Now, speaking of, wow, look at that. Uh, boom, so we got a whole bunch we had from before, and, of course, some we just picked up just now. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and make adhesives. Now, every 10 adhesive that I make is going to be worth uh, roughly around 200 caps. So I'm literally going to make like eh, 200 to 600 caps right now. Just like that. There we go. And now we don't have to worry about adhesive, at least for this, for today. <laughs> because now we've got uh, a whole bunch of vegetable starch there. Uh, depending on, of course, how much stuff that you collect in a day. Now, if there was a giant... A uh, farm of uh, potatoes, I go there and I pick that up. And if there is a giant farm of corn, I can get 100 corn right now like it was nothing. But, of course, the the slowing the block that slows you down from getting massive adhesive is your mute fruit and your potatoes. So, again, I would rather have a larger amount of those and then come back uh, and just get those potatoes. So we might we might swap that out on Saturday. We'll see how it goes. See how it goes. Now, of course, another thing I need to do usually in my day before I forget, just in case I get into some serious action while I'm running around making some cash, uh, is basically to go in and uh, make sure that all my stuff is uh, done. It's very nice. And we'll go and check in on our armor as well. Uh, right over here. Let's go ahead and repair. And again, this is why we're making adhesive. This is why we're collecting all these materials is to... Uh, do all of this stuff and eventually, you know, we'll go in uh, and we'll uh, uh, Modify all of our stuff now. We got a left leg here Left why don't I have my left leg on that's a good question That is a good question. I hate to discover that you're actually not wearing your armor. There we go 27 27 decent 21 got to work on that right arm and helmet of course Doing nothing, but then of course we look stylish though. We look good. That's that's what's important. You got to look good, right? That's what's important. Now, we're going to go up here upstairs, and I got something new added to my base, and that is the power armor frame right here. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, work a bit on our power armor today. Now, we did learn where all the power armor mods are, so that we can mod our power armor, which is going to be super fun. We're going to hit craft. It's going to automatically pull that power armor right over here. So, we're going to go ahead and switch to modify, and then we're going to go ahead, of course, and repair our power armor, which is this will be the first time we've really... Repaired it at our home base, which is pretty nice, like so. And then one of the things I found that's really nice is that you can modify your stuff and it won't let you sell it. So if you modify it like the Tricentennial here, you won't accidentally sell your stuff, which is pretty cool. Well, let's get this party started, so Jazz says. That's right, getting the party started up in here uh, on that sub level. I just saw it over there, very nice. Uh, let's see what we can actually uh, modify. Let's see. Can we modify some paint? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at all this. Look at all these paints we can do. Cool. Well, how did I just do that? I just hit spacebar. There we go. Okay. Uh, I can't see the paint, though. Uh, a little bit of fail there. A little bit of fail. I can't actually see the paint. Okay. Uh, Bethesda, I would uh, work on that a little bit. I can't see the paint, bro. All right, let's just do the chest. That'll show us the paint. Uh, toggle craftable. Toggle unlockable. V. Huh. It's weird. I could see it in the other one, but for some reason couldn't see it in there. How did I just do that? I was in left leg. Yeah, I hit Q. Ah, see, I did that by mistake. I hit Q. I was trying to scroll. Uh, so, yeah, that's toggle craftable. <coughs> Stuff I can get for that. Uh, and torso. 
Standard Pete. There we go. Cool. Toggle unlockable. I guess unlockable and craftable, I guess, would be the same thing. I don't know. I don't know. It seems to do the same thing in the thing. But, oh, we got all these different paints we can do. Uh, camo, uh, Mothman, Party Time. Let's play. Play Time. Try Centennial. Oh, that's a cool one. Uh, Vault Tech, the Wasteland Warrior. No, I like the Tri Centennial. I'm most out of all of those. Let's do that. Let's get that Tri Centennial look going on. Uh, let's see. Standard Paint, Tri Centennial. There we go. Uh, right here. All right. Let's just jazz this up a little bit. Been wanting to get in here and uh, sexy up my power armor. Uh, whoa, oh, where'd my. My chest piece go. What the? You guys all saw that chest piece, right? Did I just scrap it or something? Or did I take it on me? What the heck just happened there? I feel like I just lost my chest piece. Where'd my chest piece go? I didn't press G. Well, apparently I just lost my chest piece. I just found a bug. <laughs> I just found a bug. Look at Kismet finding all the bugs today. Well, that was a bummer. Uh, I guess we're going to have to go look for a chest piece. That is a bummer. Yeah, it just totally disappeared. Uh, craft. And then I modified it. Modify. Yep, I totally just lost it. Well, whatever. Let's move on. As long as I have my helmet. Blue Raid, Purple, Vault Boy. Yeah, I don't know how the bright one is going to be way too bright on top of it. Miscellaneous mod. Uh, left arm. Any other mods? Nope. That was a bummer. Yeah, I'll find better anyway. We're going to eventually up update this to uh, T60 anyway. Uh, that's what I want to do, but it's kind of... What? Now my leg's gone. My leg and my chest piece is gone. Okay, this is this is some power armor fail today. Yeah. My chest piece. And left leg. Okay, somebody clip all of that. Or mods, make a note of that. I'm going to have to clip that and send that to Bethesda and say, yo, what the heck just happened? I'll go look back and see if... Uh, make a note of my kids reminders... Uh, let's see, this is, uh, BSE 567, it's, uh, 37 minutes into the stream, or 27 minutes, sorry, 27 minutes, uh, into the recording, uh, and I will come back, what's going on my light back here, uh, and I will come back and I will figure out what the heck just happened there, and if that is a bug, I will send that in, uh, to Bethesda, uh, unless I hit unequip or something, I see there's an unequip function there, nope. Huh. Transfer. Apparel. Seems like it vanished. Seems like it vanished. <laughs> All right. Well, we found some fail. We found some fail. Let's make some money. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I feel like we're going to go over here. Let's go over here and get that dollar bills. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I went in and I modified the color of my power armor to the Tricentennial Edition, and it basically disappeared. Uh, so don't modify in the power armor station the, uh, the color to Tricentennial Edition because it may do exactly what I just did. Uh, so watch out for that, everybody. All right, now we're going to go ahead and grab these as quick as possible. Uh, we're going to grab some corn. Now, this is what I call the Kismet Cash Run. I always find ways of making money in every single game. In fact, I usually make millions, billions, sometimes even trillions, uh, legitly, right? Of using game mechanics. No cheating. That's lame. Uh, bam, you, you take the fun away of the hunt. The hunt for caps, right? That's what we're doing right now. We're on the hunt for those caps, and guess what? We're going to get a ton of it right now. And you're like, well, Kismet, how are you going to get caps, bro? How are you going to get caps? You're just picking up corn. That's boring, bro. I don't like corn. Well, I like money. And I like money in my pocket. I like the fat stacks of caps in my pocket. And that's what I'm doing right now. It's super easy. Ain't nothing going on here. Look, I'm just chilling. 
he says right before he gets caked. Uh, and then uh, I'm just chilling here, running around, picking up some stuff. Now, of course, I'm picking up twice the normal amount. Every time I pick one up, I'm actually getting two. And the reason why is because I'm using my green thumb perk, which the perk system is the greatest thing in the entire game. Absolutely phenomenal. The uh, home run of Fallout 76. I love the perk system. So one minute I can be a farmer, which is basically what my guy is right this moment, where I can run around, grab a whole bunch of this corn uh, all day, every day. I think I got all that up there. I'm kind of going in a very weird way instead of going back and forth. I find this actually a little bit faster. And if I miss one or two, oh well. Oh well, this is literally going to be 100 corn right here. Like this. Now again, this is just money laying right here. Now also in this house over here is some more stuff that I want. So we're going to go in here. We're going to go in here. Hammers are blazing. Hey, put that down. Hey, don't reload. Don't do it. I warned you. Hey, who are you shooting at? Stop that. Bad Scorchy. Hey, what's up? Bad Scorchy. All right, here we go. Let's get our light on. Uh, here we go. So I have certain places that I go for certain resources. Of course, as you go along, you want to make it nice and easy. So this is like a double bonus right here at this particular location, right? So I can go in and I can go in and grab some plastic there, which I really need. Some other random resources here, some steel and whatnot. But mainly those blocks there is what I'm looking for. So you always want to have... Uh, you know, kind of uh, bonus items at that particular location. Uh, and I get really, really fast at this because I know exactly where the resources are, right? And if you do it very consistently, you're getting some boiled water, burnt books. Uh, you're getting burnt books, so you're weighed down all the time. Probably not the best idea. More plastic there. I'm always looking for plastic. Super easy. Also happens to be right by there. Nuclear material. Got some steel there. Uh, some different outfits and whatnot we can sell or scrap or whatever. And, of course, right here, free shotgun shells. There we go. Uh, less shotgun shells that I need to make. And I'm going heavy into shotguns. I love the combat shotgun, though I did see there's a pattern in there for the Gatlin laser. We'll get that going on later on. Uh, I just happen to have enough ability to open this. And again, you just want to, you know, have it where it's a quick and easy thing that you can do uh, either at the beginning of your playthrough or at the end of your playthrough. There we go. We're done. We're out of here. We're out of here. Quick and easy. Kicky kickball. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run up here. Now I'm a bit overburdened right now, but that's okay. We're going to fix that problem right now. Probably should have cleared my stuff first. But let's go ahead and say hello to some friends over here that I like to visit from time to time. Hello, Mr. Radroach. There you go. Where's your friend? Come on. Where's your friend at? There's your cousin and your auntie. <laughs> there we go. Bye-bye, bugs. So we just happen to know they're there. Look at this, everybody. How convenient. <laughs> I just lost my torso, got my torso back. What's the other one I lost? I forgot. Uh, plus a fusion core. Thank you very much. Now, this is where we got our power armor in the first place, right? So I knew when we run over here, we had a chance of finding it. There we go. Oh, wait. Look, it's back. It's back, everybody. My stuff is back. Once it got stored in the workbench, it now shows back up again. Oh, okay. Well, I guess uh, it was only a temporary bug. Uh, then cool. We'll grab all this stuff over here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We'll go ahead and get into the power armor. Got to be fast. Uh, what if I could just do it from there? What if I could just do this and then now pick it up? No, I can't pick it up until I actually get into it. So I'm going to get into this power armor. Now, the reason why I'm going to do that is I've already taken the stuff away from the power armor and if I leave the power armor there, it's basically going to leave an empty shell. So if anybody else comes along later on and wants to get the power armor, it's going to kind of suck for them. So I try to do a solid for the next guy, uh, which, of course, is to uh, get the fusion core out. To go in, now notice I've got a collect function. I need a space to collect. There we go. Now, before this one's recalled here, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to scrap very quickly so I don't do the wrong one. I've got 60 seconds to make it happen. I'm going to go ahead and scrap this power armor chassis it's gone and then scrap this stuff over here with steel and molded plastic very nice i'll take those thank you very much and then this is automatically going to recall uh here in a minute whoa that looks awesome i like the tricentennial looking sexy looking sexy now i'm that guy by the way uh the mother cometh tales from the west virginia hills there we go the mothman cometh actually the mother the mother mothman uh more shotgun shells more nuka cola more plastic 
Again, look at this. Look at this. Nice little, you know, kind of a little spot, right? We found it right away. I can recognize good spots right away. We've been doing this since we were low level. Uh, of course, it just is, uh, you know, giving us momentum in our playthrough. Uh, it can be a bit repetitive, though. Uh, look, hear anything? Nope. <laughs> Thanks to Bethesda. You know why? Because uh, they love me. I don't know. Uh, I think they actually added it for a whole lot of people. But thank you very much for this world radios. They took the feedback. Imagine a company that takes feedback from their players and actually implements it. Big love to Bethesda for that. Big love. All right. So we don't need our power armor right now. Uh, we're going to run around over here. Oh, wait. Oh, I almost forgot. Almost forgot. I got to go back in here. I got to scrap the stuff that I got to reduce my weight. So let's go in here. Hit R, hit T. Well, bam. Uh, there we go. Down to 290. Now, I've also got some other stuff in here that I'm just kind of toting around now. Uh, this stuff here. Get rid of those, uh, those weapons. Weapons are the thing. Things that typically uh, weigh you down. Now we got an automatic laser rifle, which we've been using. Super awesome against uh, Scorch Beast, by the way. We took out how many Scorch Beasts did we take on the other day, everybody? Was it three or was it four in a single stream? We took out a bunch of them. They were just spawning everywhere. It was super fun. We killed, I think we killed two of them. Uh, and then the other one was, I think the other one just kind of flew off, I think, when we were in the building. Uh, we have a combat shotgun and all of that. Uh, anything else we can get rid of? Rags that hide. Uh, get rid of that. Now, be out of your power armor before you start scrapping. I had a bunch of legendary items uh, that I accidentally scrapped because I was in my power armor. And I said, oh, let's just sell all this to the vendor, only to realize that was actually my gear that I just sold off to the vendor. Not good. Not a good thing. Uh, hopefully, they fix that problem, too. So when you're in your power armor and you're selling to the vendor, it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, not show you that you have it on. Uh, that is a problemo. So we're still overburdened, though, but we're going to run over here and we're going to make some money. Let's go make them dollar bills. Dollar, dollar bills. Man, I'm so excited to play with my crew next week. Man, that was so fun. That was so fun. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's going to be even more epic next time once we have it down. Uh, if you missed it, by the way, we all played Stardew Valley to, uh, together. And, of course, uh, I was promoting my awesome stream team, uh, trying to help out other people. That's my big goal now. Uh, as a streamer, is to try to help other streamers, people who are seriously interested in becoming broadcasters here on Twitch. Now, I think when you do something kind for somebody else and then uh, basically just ask them to pass it on to the next person. Now, they don't have to raid me or come back here or do any of that stuff. That uh, That's not my big goal. Uh, I do appreciate when people do that, though. I'm always appreciative of all of you being here in the stream uh, and, of course, having lots of fun in the chat. Speaking of the chat, I've been talking and not watching. Get my chat back up here. My chat is very small. Very small. A uh, bit slippy coming in. What's up? Uh, let's see. Redeeming that loot. Look at you go, pancakes. Redeeming it. Brownie points for those links. Uh, let's see. Who did I miss? Walter Cat coming in. Burnt Lab saw you earlier. Got that VIP. Congratulations to pancakes. Uh, it was me. That's right. Uh, Great Panther checking that loot. Holy mackerel. Great Panther with 134,000 caps. Rocking it. Rocking it big time. Uh, much, uh, emo gamers. I was subbed last month. Just waiting for my check to resub. There you go. There you go. Got to get those epic, uh, Kismet emotes. Of course, you know, you can also get that squirrel. You know, some people, uh, have come into my stream and said, Kismet, I just subbed just to get that squirrel emote. <laughs> hey, man, more power to you, man. You want that squirrel emote? It's the, he's there. He's there. You know, I actually got a whole bunch of stuff lined up for that squirrel emote as well to go along with it. Uh, I have not had enough time, but it is the wings when Kismet gets enough time because apparently I can hire no one else in the world who is reliable. Nobody else who follows up. I don't know what it is. I consider that a huge uh, source of pride when I did graphic design is that I would follow up and I would deliver every single time on what I said I was going to do. Uh, hard to do it now, though. Hard to do it now, though, because I'm older and I am uh, just don't have the energy or the time I did when I was young. But I try. I try very, very hard to force myself out of that bed and say, today is going to be an epic day. We're going to get some stuff done. Uh, I was trying to get through some videos today. Uh, very unmo unmo uh, unmotivated how to do those videos, but I did it anyway. I did it anyway. I was a bit tired from uh, that epic... Uh, epic uh, setup we were doing uh, yesterday, but that's okay. Got some of it done. Got it going. 
Uh, I literally, I'm, I'm so backlog. I'm so backlog right now. Squirrel. Squirrel. Uh, let's see how much. Uh, let's see how many. Uh, how many terabytes of videos I got queued up right now? Let's see. I have uh two and a half terabytes. Two and a half terabytes worth of videos going right now. Who that will run for literally like forty eight hours? It'll just nonstop process videos for the next forty eight hours. Just think of that in your head. Think of that in your head. <laughs> That's a lot. Now, that's by today's standards. Imagine if you're doing that back in the day. I mean, usually one of those videos would take 45 minutes, sometimes up to six, seven hours to process one 30-minute video. And those are four-hour videos, each of them. Uh, that's a lot. I, I, I could count them all up, but it's a lot. Actually, I could go look in the folder. Let's see. It is, it is 99 items. So 99 videos processing right now. You're like, Kismet, you are a crazy man. That's a, that's a good assessment. That's a good assessment. What I say, I go above and beyond for my community. I crush it. If you want to watch my videos on YouTube because you can't watch the entire stream, I got you back. I got you back. Not always right away, but I got you back. It does take time to get that going. There's only one kismet. I only have so much time in the day to get those, you know, edited and uploaded and all that stuff. But they will eventually make it to YouTube. I know there's a bit of a gap going on right now because I've been working with my stream team. And then I got that done. Now I'm back on the videos, right? So, you know, it goes, you got to... You got to prioritize. Now, over here is some more stuff. We're going to go ahead and grab, just laying around, some phosphate. Phosphate uh, going on. Now, of course, uh, let's take a look at our weight right here. 330 of 260. Uh, let's go ahead and bring our power armor back up again. Get in there. Let's see what our weight is with that. What? We got 15 retweets. Do we double it up? Do we double it up? Look at that. We got 2,000 caps going out for that 10 retweet, which means we doubled it up. And then, of course, we went 3,000 for 15. Look at you guys go. Keep those retweets going, everybody. Now you're going to be making caps like crazy. The more of you that get together as Wasteland Tycoons, the more of you that retweet, the more caps you guys are going to be earning over everybody else right now. Everybody else who's not in the stream right now, you're going to be earning them all instead. Pretty awesome. All right. Uh, so look at this. We can, we can hold 260 out of 320. So we've got to make some choices here. We got to make some choices, but only temporarily. Now, I'll show you a little trick that I like to use. I'll go ahead and walk this way a bit. Jump this fence. And we'll walk down the road a little bit. Now, you never really want to put stuff uh, on to uh, on to mobs. There we go. Never really want to put stuff on to mobs themselves because the do, they mobs, they do disappear. So you can use containers, though. I do it a lot in Fallout 4 where I'll put stuff in containers to hold it temporarily because, of course, the containers are basically unlimited in uh, Fallout 4. They have 24,000 items that you can put in those, or 25,000 uh, items that you can, I don't know where I got 24 from, uh, in there uh, and just stack a ton, a ton of loot in there. Now, what we're going to do is just very quickly use this mailbox right here. And you're like, well, Kesman, what if someone comes and grabs everything? Well, big deal. Big deal. We got it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put some purified water in there. Look at what do we got. 260. Uh oh, hold on. Hold on. I heard some super muties. Did you hear those muties? Kill, kill, kill! You're right, good idea. Kill the super muties! <laughs> Oh, bro. I love this hammer. I love this hammer. Hey, thanks for the free loot. I'll take all this. I want to go first person. Man, I feel like I got to press first person like 10 times before it goes first person. Woo, free loot. Well, thanks, Super Muties, for the free loot. Appreciate it. All right, again, don't put it on them. Now, if you want to be tricky, right? Oh, that's some shotgun shells. If you want to be tricky, you can also not put it out in the road. Maybe hide it back behind here in a kind of an obscure spot, right? So someone doesn't come along and accidentally grab your loot like right here. Great spot, right? Great spot up here in the corner. And Super Mutes are helping me out today. Now, of course, I can go ahead and put in the corn like this. Boom, that's going to take me to 261 because uh, we can always get the corn back again. There we go, 260. So we're going to go ahead and bounce out of here. 
real quickly. Now, it's going to cost us some extra caps, but we are going to get crazy tons of loot. So there we go. There we go. I kind of feel like I should also move because I don't teleport inside my base. I teleport outside, which is kind of a weird thing because, you know, when you quick travel, typically in Fallout 4, you end up in your stuff. I had people comment on it. What's the significance uh, of or uh, behind the squirrel emote or lore behind the squirrel emote, Kismet? Uh, I have a tendency... Stop getting rocketed over there. I have a tendency to squirrel in the emote, much like uh, the movie Up, where the dog is talking and he's like, you are a great master. You are my favorite master. Squirrel. <laughs> I have a tendency to do that here in the stream. That's where that emote comes from. Uh, I have a tendency to uh, be talking about one thing or talking about the chat or I get very focused in what I'm doing. Uh, and then my chat is like, Kesbit, you're not watching the chat. Squirrel, squirrel, or Kesbit, you, you, were, you were doing this thing, but now you're doing that thing over there. Right? Uh, my chat's always trying to keep me on point, and I appreciate that. Appreciate that big time. I feel like I need to bring something down here just so I can scrap stuff and then throw it up there. But that's okay. We'll just run upstairs here real quick. Like so. Go in there. Scrap it all. Uh, any weapons we can get rid of. There we go. A little bit of weapons to reduce our weight here. We got some apparel. We got some aid stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and use our stuff here. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and drop all our junk in there with T. That's going to show us a bit of where we're at. 239. Not, not very much. Now, watch out for miscellaneous here, right? You got these burnt books. They're, they weigh a fortune. They weigh a ton. Get that stuff out of there. Get those burnt books out of there. They're weighing you down. Now I'm down to 229. So there's something definitely weighing me down. Well, I got boiled water. Let's get that out of there. Purified water. But I also have 216 razor grain that we just picked up. Uh, there we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get as much as I can. Look at that. Stash is full. Uh, there's, a, there's a surprise. All right. Bing back over there again as quick as I can. Don't want to go too long. You don't want to get disconnected from the server. Anything like that. Uh, are you, are you going to be hosed? Uh, there we go. Ever see the movie up? Yes, it is totally just like the movie up. I should actually have that pop up. Uh, Mods, make a kiss reminder to make the, the thing pop up. Uh, the squirrel thing pop up. I'd love to have a command where you guys could do it, and it comes up and it pops up that up there. Uh, we're working on all that stuff, everybody. We're working on it. All right, so we're right over here by the parking lot. Got to remember where you put it. That's the hardest part, right? Remembering where you stored the stuff in the first place. Very, very difficult. Uh, so here we are. We're up here. We're run back all the way to the top here. Should still be there. There we go. Uh, take all. Got all that loot back. How we looking? Oh, very nice. 221 to 260. And now we have a massive, massive amount of cord. Oh, we're going to run out. We're going to run out. And again, we're going to be playing on all three platforms today. If you'd like to join me on, uh, on Xbox uh, or anything like that, you're welcome to. I see TR Jeffers in here. Let's say hello. Let's go say hello to my peeps right here. Hey, Jeff, how you doing tonight? Oh, I got it muted. I got it muted. No wonder you can't hear me. Hey, Jeff, how you doing tonight? Is that okay? I barely heard him, but I heard him. Uh, all right, so now we have a ton of loot, though. We don't want to. We don't want to keep all this loot on us. We want to make sure that we use it up. So let's go grab some more mute fruit if we can. Again, stay out of your power armor as much as you can. Uh, it just burns your cash. It's just a cash drain. Uh, but, of course, there are a lot of fusion cores here in the world. I mean, you could ooh, I could go every day. I'll log in. I get a free fusion core if I go back to that same place or if you run around where all the power armors are. And there's a lot of them. Beaver! Hey! Ugh. Stay out of my stuff. Now, I didn't mean to get that kitty the other night. That wasn't my fault. You blame the kill box for that. That was not my fault. See, look. No corn. Oh, look, I had to repair the corn. It actually cost me a corn. I'm totally taking this corn out. It takes too long to come in. I'm totally taking that out. Uh, all right, so we have two choices. We can go ahead and expand our uh, garden there, uh, or what we can do is use it to actually make stuff. So let's do that first. Let's go to utility, vegetable starch. Look at that. Got some more. Just a little bit of mute fruit. Very nice. There we go. Now we have some potatoes left over. Now here's the problem. If I don't plant in those tato if I don't plant those potatoes, I lose those potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, store this stuff. And we're gonna run out of time here. 
Again, we're gonna play on all three platforms. I'm gonna try. At least for an hour each. We got a we got a massive mega stream tonight. We have got so much stuff going on. I am I am really working hard behind the scenes. Delete the selected blueprint. Store is what I'm trying to do. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm hitting R twice to store this uh, in the workbench. So I feel this corn is kind of a waste. And we thought we'd try it, see what happens if we could, if we did it in our location here. But again, we go get we get a hundred. We get a hundred every time we log in. Why would we waste our time and our precious space at our base? Though they did make it a lot bigger. Right there. Uh, right there. Now, what I did also is I stored this so that I could go in very easily right here under stored. And I could go ahead and say scrap to scrap it all. Now, I could have scrapped all of that as well. But I wanted to show you guys that you can go up there and scrap all of this at one. Scrap the corn uh, just from the menu up here. So I can just scrap it from up there too if it was an item, which I think is fantastic. I think they actually greatly improved the uh, building here in 76. Now, does it have as much stuff as you could do before? Not really. Uh, I think that, you know, there's lots of room to expand. Uh, and of course, it's an online game. So, of course, it will expand over time. So, uh, there's lots of room to expand that. So, I need to take it out of there. Now, the reason why I need to take it out of there is if you look in my budget in the upper right-hand corner, there used to be a spot there that was gray. That spot was from this corn that I stored. If I store it, it still takes up room in my particular base. So I've got to scrap it or I've got to get it out of there so my stored thing is totally clear and that's going to clear it up so I can now use the stuff from my inventory, which uh, is my potatoes over here, before they go bad. Uh, right over here. Where are my potatoes? My corn. Potatoes at the bottom. Uh, and there we go. So we've got 20 potatoes and we don't want to lose those potatoes, right? Because uh, they're going to do us no good because uh, if I just uh, log out and I come in next time, most likely they're going to be uh, most likely they're going to be destroyed, and they're doing us no good. They'll do us way more good. A little bit of lag there. Way more good here on our base. Now they made the base twice as big, twice as big as it was before. So if you haven't played Fallout 76 in a while and you're a little bit bummed about your ability to build in the game. They listen to that feedback. They added in the new stuff as we asked them to do. Again, that's the difference. That's the difference between a company who actually listens to their players and who makes adjustments along the way. Again, big love for that. Big love. All right, what else we got? We got any muties? No muties left. Uh, so there we go. We're starting another uh, very crooked row <laughs> of corn there. And we'll let that grow. Uh, sometimes it'll show you potatoes there and you can't grab them. You can see it doesn't say I can grab it. So no biggie. No biggie. All right. Now we also want to make some money, right? We don't want to leave all that stuff in there. If we leave all that razor grain in there uh, and we leave all that uh, that corn in there, it does us no good. No good at all. Now I'm going to mute my game because these guys are way too yappy, uh, the vendors. And we're going to go in here. We're going to take this razor grain right now. We're going to make 200 caps just like this. Ready? Here we go. 200 caps in our pocket right now. Uh, for literally just a few seconds of running around, are uh, uh, grabbing uh, some razor grain right there. Now, of course, he's got 216, which ain't going to fly, right? Because he's only got a maximum of 200. I can't do the trading thing like you can in Fallout 4, which is a huge bummer. So I have to dial it in right at 200, just like that. Boom. And 200 caps now in my pocket. There we go. Now, we've got a bunch of other random stuff that we don't need uh, in here as well. So we're going to try to go in here and say, look, what do we got that we can get rid of? Hmm. Hmm. Automatic laser. No, we like that. We like our hammer. We got the perfect storm, which is a really great weapon. We got the 10 millimeter pistol, right? We got the tricentennial 10 millimeter pistol. Feel like I don't need that anymore. Just our car coming in with a 15 months. Got all of those slots unlocked. Rocking it. Rocking it big time. And thank you so much for that massive uh, support. Uh, show that love in the chat, everybody. What are taters, precious? Taters. 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 Stick them, mash them, put them in the stew. Uh, there we go. Speaking of epic people, wow, the sub train is real tonight. Uh, Anarchy Burger coming in, getting on the sub train. Let's go, everybody. Uh, with that seven months of sub love, I should see some serious 
epic hype in the chat. If you're a VIP, I want to see that VIP hype. If I want you just not even subscribed in there, show that love. Anytime you see somebody hitting that follow button, anytime you see somebody hitting that subscribe button, I want to see you blow it up in there to show that love. They're showing the love to the stream, which of course keeps me going here on the stream when I want you guys to amplify that love and send it right back out. Now, I feel like I'm sliding down here. Let me sit up a little bit. I, I, my new overlay here, I have to sit up a little bit. So I'm not like, so I'm not like, you know, Kilroying it here in the stream. <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you have no idea what Kilroy is. Google it. Google it. You'll figure it out. All right. So I feel like I don't need my uh, 10 millimeter pistol anymore because I've got the perfect storm, which literally catches them on fire and uses the 10 millimeter weapons. It's also an automatic weapon, which I very rarely use automatic weapons, but that is a pretty nice weapon. And this is a level five pistol. You got you to gotta move your weapons up in level as you go up in level, I find. Uh, so as I get higher level, I will go ahead and upgrade them, as you can see. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Now, there's kind of, it's not going to be easy to get rid of it because it does have a special mod on it. We'll have to take that off and then do all that uh, in just a bit. So we'll get into that. Now, apparel, uh, actually, let's just take it off of us for right now. I'll boop, put it in there. There we go. Uh, apparel, nothing there. Aid, we got tons of stuff in here. What can we get rid of? Purified water, all sorts of stuff that we could get rid of. But you know what? We're not going to do it here because this guy ain't got no caps. There's no reason to take it out of there and sell it to this guy because he doesn't have any caps. That means we're not going to get nothing. Now, we're going to look under notes. Anything sexy? I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And I feel like this guy's got the same thing every single time. Uh, let's see. Bulk acid. Ooh, that's not bad. I rarely see that one. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that one. Uh, I find some of this stuff is way too expensive. Bulk screws, 184. Nah, adhesive, 162. Nah, nah, nah. That's too expensive. Too expensive at my level. Now, I'm sure later on, caps are going to flow like wine uh, up in here. Uh, we're Bueller. not going to have to worry about it. Bueller. Or we'll get going. Bueller. Bueller. What? What? We've got, we, they're getting my attention, my mods. Because you know what? Speaking of sexy uh, and uh, VIPs hanging out in the chat. Again, uh, we went through, my mods and I went through and found out the people who have been super active in my chat for a very long time. Uh, and we are now dishing out the VIPs finally, even though that feature came out a long time ago. Uh, we are trying to get back onto it. We're trying to upgrade this stream. And of course, Bird Labs, guess what? Boom, rocking that sweet, sweet diamond. Let's show them some love, everybody. Uh, wait, Kesmet, you don't have any game sound at all? No, I muted it. I muted it. Uh, because I don't like to listen to the robots. I can turn it back on here in a second. Uh, I mean, I mean on purpose that time. It wasn't that I switched to my Xbox or something. Now, of course, my mods also with their eagle eye, I spy in the chat, and another amazing person who has been in the chat for a very long time, who has really crushed it, always there, showing the love in the actual, every time somebody hits the follow button, every time someone comes in to do this, hit the subscribe. Just Alcara also getting that VIP up in the chat. Look at those diamonds, just spreading like, spreading like caps up in here, like a, like a cap explosion of VIPs. Uh, there you go. Show some love to Burt Labs. Show some love to Just Alcara. Appreciate it. Appreciate it big time. All right, we got that. Now, of course, now they got caps, though. He's got some caps. I want those caps back. Those are my caps. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and sell this random stuff that I picked up here and get that money. Get them dollar bills in my pocket. In this cape, cap bills. Now, we actually found out, by the way, where caps originated from. How did everyone started using caps around the wasteland? We actually found that in Fallout 76. I'm not going to tell you where. I'm not going to tell you how to find it, but look for it as you're wandering around. You're going to see an event that has to do with how Caps got started, the lore of Fallout, uh, the whole entire Fallout series, which I think is awesome. I think that's awesome that they added to it. Now, that's what I'm assuming. I'm not sure if that's true, but it seemed like it. Like that's how Caps got started, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go to our next station. How are we doing on time? Run a little bit over. That's okay. That's okay. We'll switch over Xbox here in just a minute. Now, again, if you want to play with me on Xbox, let me know. Uh, get into your Xbox. And again, we'll play about an hour on Xbox, hour on PS4. I do play on all three platforms, by the way. That's how hardcore, hardcore I am. Now, on other platforms, I just get in, go have some fun with friends, try to help them with quests, get them some resources, whatever they want to do. Or if they want to just hang around with me and we run around and get into trouble, that's fun as well. Uh, so let's go here to the next one. 
And we're going to go ahead and just forego the sound because one of the problems uh, that I find with the uh, uh, vendor NPCs is they'll start talking, but then they'll never stop talking when you're talking, when you're standing there trying to do it. And it does kind of grade on you a little bit. It grades on me anyway, because I'm trying to talk to you and the vendors is constantly talking to me, uh, which is tough. Of course, I guess not everybody is. Uh, now, look at it. It says zero, right? Don't believe it. It's lying. It's lying to you. Boom. Look at that. It's got 174 caps just like that. It's lying to your face. We don't like lying, but we do like caps. How many you got? 16. Let's get rid of that. Man, I got too many Mentats for 16. What do we got? Seven, that's 14. Oh, on the dot. On the dot, everybody. Nice. There we go. And again, once again, check those notes. Anything sexy in there? Mm, nothing I want right now. Kind of tempted just to buy everything out so, I'll, so it'll just, there'll be nothing in that list, right? That I haven't don't already know. Get that lead. Now, I find lead feels like it's worth it because lead is one of those three rares that I'm always looking for. Adhesive, lead, and plastic, right? Oh, bulk plastic. Only 48. That's a steal right there. That's a steal. Some handcuffs there. Uh, grab a little bit of that for steel. Nothing else that we're looking for there. Oh, darn it. They got 33 caps again. Make that money. What do we got? 35 caps. Oh, so close. So close on that one. Uh, let's go four. Get rid of that. Mountain honey. Oh, perfect. There's another five caps right there. That vendor done. This is the Kismet cash run. We're getting that money. There's there's 400 caps right there. Let's go get another one. Let's go get and take it up to 600 caps. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, there you go. Uh, a beast boy coming in. Look at that followage. Holy mackerel. One year and 10 months. You know what? That's some serious love. That's some serious love in my stream. I appreciate it. In fact, on behalf of Beast Boy, being such an epic long follower of the stream, let's give out additional 5,000 kids caps for not only him, but all the other people coming in, showing the love. Let's give you some bonus caps up here in the stream today, here in the mega stream. Now, we got, we got so much lined up. We got so much lined up, so we can't yap too much. We got to get to the vendors. We got to get that money, and then we got to get on to the next thing. Let's go. Now, I can pick up all this loot. We'll do that next time. We can also go in there and say, Kismet, you got tons of razor grain. What are you going to do with all that razor grain, bro? Where's my razor grain at? Right there. Uh, I'm going to sell most of it, but I can also sell some purified water here as well. If I run out of stuff to sell, I seriously doubt it. I seriously doubt I'm going to run out of stuff. So let's go ahead and put all the spoiled fruit in there. We'll craft that up in just a moment. Uh, let's go in here. I got another vendor. Now, the vendors are based on faction. They are faction vendors. So you need to know that which vendors are connected together and which vendors are not, right? So if we go in and we go over here uh, to uh, the uh, railroad right here, uh, Charleston Station. Charleston Station is pretty much connected to all of this other stuff all the way up here to Morgan Station, right? Those are the responders. The responder vendors are all tied together. Just like when you're playing Fallout 4 and you put down a whole bunch of medical vendors and you realize after you've done that, because you think you're so smart, you're like, ah, I'm going to put down a whole bunch of ammo vendors, and I'm going to buy an unlimited amount of ammo. And then you realize that the ammo vendors have a shared inventory. And the same thing here in Fallout 76. The factions have a shared inventory. So we've gone over here uh, to the one right by my base here at Charleston Station, part of the responders. Then we go over here, part of the raiders, right? Uh, get that going on. Or no, that's not part of the raiders. That's part of the, uh, the other one. Uh, forgot the name of it. Uh, and then this one's part of the Raiders over here because uh, it's right by uh, the top of the world. Now, you can also go here to Pleasant Valley Station. That one also part of the Raiders uh, and get that. And then we're going to go to another one here in just a second. So, again, let's let's get that money. Let's get those caps in your pocket. Let's get it going. Nuka-Cola, antibiotics, no. Psychotat, sell that. Diluted stuff. We don't need that. Radex, we don't need that many Radex. You literally like need a couple of those, depending on what you're doing. Diluted Radaways, we don't need them. Get them out of there now. Rad roach meat out of there. Razor grain gone. Salt. Stealth boy. Stem pack diluted. Super stem packs. I don't need those. But oh, look at that. He's out of caps again. Out of caps again. I just can't. I just can't get enough stuff here. Look at this. Holy mackerel. Look, he's got double. He's got two stacks of screws. Wow. That's the first time I've seen multi stacks. Look at He's got six stacks of steel. Oh, man, if I only had a larger inventory, right? If I only had a larger inventory, I would totally buy that bulk steel right now. Uh, not worth it, though. Not worth it. I need only the stuff I need at this point, which is plastic, uh, lead, and steel. Uh, or plastic, lead, and adhesive, sorry. Uh, there's that plastic. 
more plastic. Uh, those are screws. Now, some stuff I tag for search. So when I'm looking for stuff, when I'm looking in uh, different loot boxes and whatnot as I'm running around, that stuff is why I have that tag, like steel and stuff. But I don't typically buy steel or adhesive from the vendor because I think it's too expensive. So we grab that. Anything under notes here? Look at these barn. See, these are tempting me now because look at this. Look at these fat stacks of caps we got. Now, I'm only level 40, and I'm already uh, doing the thing. Now, if I did this every time I logged in, you know how many caps I'd have right there? <laughs> you got to kind of find a balance, though, between making tons of caps and then, of course, also playing the game uh, and you know, running around, having fun with your friends and all that stuff. Uh, very, very fun. Uh, so, yeah, uh, uh, El Fuzzy Nuts, was he in the, did he say if he wanted to play tonight? Let's see. Uh, now, get it. Somebody wants to play. If you got Fallout 76 on Xbox, on PS4, tonight is community night. I'm going to be playing with you guys. If you want to join me, let me know. Uh, right now, just trying to do some uh, stuff here. Uh, selling some stuff. The vendor. Let me get those seven caps back. Let's get it. Let's get it. Where we can get it from here. Uh, where's our burnt books? We got to get our burnt books. Now, there's, there's these burnt books, and they are way, way too heavy in this game. Look at this. Watch as I take these burnt books out of here. Each one of them is one. One weight. That's seven weight gone right there, plus all the other ones. But they are worth one cap. So, eh, you know what? They're great for kind of getting uh, those last few caps. You know, I try to get as much as I can. Uh, so great for getting that. Look at that. Seven burnt books, seven caps left. Perfect. Perfect. Bam. Give me those caps. There we go. Got those caps. Now, on to the next one. The one that we just discovered recently. Uh, which is the one we just went to uh, normally. It's like a whole bunch of them uh, here in the White Spring, which is also tied to this one, the White Spring Station. So we go in there. Of course, those those people are going to have zero caps, so we can't go in there. Got to be careful. Now, there's more vendors, and we could ping pong around to all the vendors all night long. Only got so much time. You get the idea. All right, let's go ahead and bounce back to the base for free. I like free. Free is awesome. Now, we had an amazing time last time uh, playing, uh, of course, uh, some 76. We ran around. We had a whole bunch of uh, uh, questing and whatnot. I'm going to see if we can get the crew together here uh, and get something going. I see Excitable Boy in there. What's up? What's up, Excitable Boy? How you doing? Doing well, you? Doing good. You guys up for a quick event or something before I switch over to uh, Xbox? Uh, not really. I'm just, uh, burning off all my inventory right now that I need to sell. Uh, I don't do a lot of the events. All right. No, I was going to do random events around the world. Not uh, necessarily like, uh, Bethesda events. Not like getting into survival mode or something. <laughs> just making some XP, running around, doing a little pew pew. That's it. Hey! Yep, yeah, I'm just making my money today. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Bye bye, Scorchies. I'm doing the same thing. Just made about a thousand caps today. Just in the uh, this is about the uh, 30 minutes or so I've been playing. Nice, nice, getting that money. And look at this, dropping off free loot at my base. Thank you, Scorchies. Appreciate it. We got 10 millimeter. Ooh, we can catch some people on fire. All right. I see Half Fan. He's up for it. Let's go, Half Fan. Come here. I like your outfit. Run after him. Got him. There we go. Let's go ahead and just shoot some stuff. We got T.R. Jeffers. Why can't I invite him? Come on, invite thingy. Why does it work and sometimes not work? Join. Oh, he's he's on a different server. Hey, Jeff, you want to join us for some smashing of some stuff here real quick? Uh, all right. What do we got? I'm just finishing up a couple of quests real quick. I'm not going to be on long. All right. Sounds good. Me and Half Fan got this. We're going to go kill some stuff. Uh, I say we go to the mining headquarters. Let's go. Let's go. Now, let's go ahead and power up ourselves, of course, uh, with that power armor. Now, I typically don't use power armor very much, especially very early in the game. Uh, I do like to play the game without the power armor. Power armor does give you a little bit of advantage, unless you're playing in survival mode in Fallout 4, then it doesn't at all. It's like wearing paper armor. Uh, it, uh, it does not give you an advantage. Usually, like if you give your companion power armor in, uh, in Fallout 4, literally in the very first fight, it'll just get destroyed. And you'll just be repairing it all the time. It's pretty brutal. Uh, so let's go over here and have some drinks. 
And you're like, Kesbit, you gonna drink that dirty water? I am. I gotta get out of my power armor first. I'm gonna drink this dirty water direct. It's gonna be tasty. Tasty. You're like, Kesbit, ew, gross, bro. Aren't you gonna get radiated? Nope. Not gonna get radiated at all. But I did get dysentery, though. If you don't know what that is, that's called uh, bad times in the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, right over there. Now, we also have a disease cure somewhere. I could have sworn I left one in here. Let's see. Right there. There it is. Got it on me right there. So all you do is, of course, you drink that. Use your disease cure. Easy. You can also make disease cures. Disassery gone. Uh, now, well, the reason why I did that is because I have, uh, of course, a perk that goes along with that. I have lead belly, like so. Uh, I've also got team uh, medic going right now when I'm on. The oh, half fan. Don't want to, do you want to join me, uh, half fan, to blow up some stuff or no? You let me know. Send me an invite if you want to join me. Well, I'm only going to do it for like three minutes and that's it. That's okay. If you're getting off, that's fine. I'll go blow up some stuff. Now, I try to get in some questing too in every day along with all of that. So, of course, you know you're forwarding your character uh, and you're exploring new places. Look, I haven't been over here yet. I haven't done that yet. I'm in no hurry. I don't rush through games. I try to get the most out of my money, most out of my caps whenever I'm playing games. Uh, so we got that going on. Now, the other problem here, of course, is we need some food. Uh, so let me get out. Keep getting in the power armor. Get out of there. And let's get in here. So we're going to need some food before we go. And, of course, we want to make sure that all of our stuff is repaired and whatnot. But now we sold all of our food. Right? Now, we could have made a massive amount of razor grain soup, but it goes bad, too. So remember that your food does go bad. Uh, along the way. Now, another thing you can do is literally just run around and grab yourself some food from your little thing here. All right, grab yourself some little bit of shum shum right there and actually eat your mute fruit. All right, go ahead and eat that mute fruit. I can eat some potatoes. There we go. Now I've got my food up. Since we're not going to be on long, I can uh, get out of here, come back next time, get some razor grain, make massive amount of razor grain soup, uh, and basically you want to make it every day. It's kind of like, you know, you, your food will spoil when you leave the server and you come back, uh, typically. All right, let's investigate the miners' headquarters, wherever that is. Uh, ooh, there is a uranium fever over there. Oh, that's tempting. That's a tempting thing, but I'll be there by myself. Be there by myself, and I want to get these quests done. I got to forward my quest line. Uh, again, these are just side quests. Show on map. Oh, down there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's up down there, but we'll go find out. Going in hot. Uh, Kesman, don't forget the stuff you stashed if you didn't grab it. Oh, I grabbed it. Believe me. I went straight back. If you don't go back straight away, sometimes what it'll do is that area will respawn, and then you'll lose all your stuff. Happens to me sometimes in Fallout 4. Uh, when you're in survival mode, and you're running around, and you're stashing stuff, in there uh, because survival mode is so much harder it has a tendency to respawn areas quicker but it also uh, respawns loot slower so if it respawns that area because you did a quest there you leave a bunch of stuff in a, a container you'll walk back because you can't fast travel right you'll walk back to sanctuary you drop your stuff off and you walk back again the whole area is reset and all your stuff is gone so smarter actually in in fallout 4 is actually to carry all of your stuff with you uh, even though it is a lot slower walking Oh my gosh, it's this one. It's this one. Are we better prepared for this one? Let's take a look. Got some stem packs. Let's use... Oh, I forgot to sell that super stem pack. That's okay. Let's use a super one. Let's also use a rat away so that we're getting getting our health all the way up since we're using a super one. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and use our astounding tails and like this. I don't know. I'm just going to burn that stuff. That's a waste, a waste of my space, I think. Okay. So we got to go to the mining headquarters right over here. Let's see if we're better off now. Let's see what level are we now. Again, I don't even I don't even think about my level. Level 43. Might as well take a few of them out. 
Come on, go ahead and jump. There we go. Thanks for that right away, bro. Can't leave any cars behind. Now, I really like this weapon. This weapon's pretty cool. Use a stem, steam pack. Steam. You gotta steam the packs first. I used a stem pack. Going in, I used a, a really nice one. Now, this place is pretty dangerous. So, before you go in there, make sure you got lots of ammo, which I don't. Because <laughs> uh, you can die, especially by yourself. Uh, this can be uh, pretty dangerous. Oh, they're Scorch today. Okay, Scorch aren't as bad. Sometimes there are robots in here, uh, and that's pretty rough. Uh, let's go ahead and check our weapons. We've got this one, Perfect Storm. We've got our 10 millimeter pistol and our laser rifle. We've got 208 cells on there. Nice. And, of course, we got the weapon that never runs out of ammo, the hammer, which we didn't mod, but I'll get around to it next time. All right, I kind of feel like we're just going to light some peeps up. That was a good headshot. Rip! Go ahead. Go for the rip away. Hang on. I hate when I get stuck on something. I'm always stuck on these carts or something. I heard you there. Love the sound in this game. So good. Oh, I actually need to get to that terminal right there. That was a headshot. Running headshot. Come on. That was pretty good. Hey, thanks for the shotgun shot. How long before you're going to kick over to the uh, console? Oh, I know about five, ten minutes. I'm over here just shooting stuff right now. Having a good time. Welcome to come join me. Lots of scores here to shoot. Have when good... you kick over to the console, uh, do we intermesh or no? Uh, yeah, well, I'll just switch over to, uh, I'll switch over to the Xbox voice. You can welcome to jump over there if you want. Uh, and then I'll switch into PS4 voice, whichever one you want to play. So I'll play the Xbox for about an hour, and then I'm going to play uh, PS4 about an hour. <coughs> With uh, my what I mean music. is, uh, will I still be able to play on my PC with Oh, with me? I don't think you can do cross-platform uh, in here, which is a bummer, right? I mean, they can do it on Fortnite. Why can't they do it on Fallout 76 is all I'm saying. <laughs> right? Come on. Who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? Woo really. Now, of course, you know, always assess the danger first, right? You got to go in hot and heavy. Look at all this loot in here. Look, I want to get all this loot. We don't got enough time for loot. Maybe we just take a little bit of booze. Take a little bit of whiskey for, for, for my homies. That's right. Taking that whiskey. Take a little bit of that, dude. All right. See, I always want to clear all the stuff first, because the second I go to this terminal, you watch. I hear somebody walking. Feeling it's right up here. Oh. Got. 
Garage Estate Access Card. Man, we gotta remember that. Okay, I don't have level three. I hear him, but I don't see him. All right, we gotta get this quest done. We get this quest done, I feel like I got something done today. Let's go. Uh, I'd also read the terminals the first time I go through it. I apparently have not done this yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and read it out. Uh, let's see. Welcome back, Barry. Uh, memo ex uh, excavator queries. Let's take a look. Uh, memo GMC 22 RES. Uh, subject excavator queries. Attention all employees. All any queries regarding the excavator power armor project should be directed to Harold Frost in our research and development division. Do not attempt to answer any questions directed to you by clients or the press. Sounds like a plan. Uh, I want the excavator armor. That's everybody's. I see everybody running around in that. Uh, family Fun Day. To all employees are cordially invited to our annual Family Fun Day, November 11th, 2077. We'll be featuring a barbecue buffet, plenty of ice cold Nuka Cola, all the uh, ice cream the you can eat. Tradition of looting. Yep. Uh, as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll be featuring a barbecue buffet, plenty of ice cold Nuka Cola, and all the ice cream you can eat. Mom and Dad can relax at our huge canvas pavilion while they listen to the musical stylings of Rod Torfil Torfilson's Armada, whatever that is. For the kids, uh, we'll have pony rides, a clown show, a uh, crafts tent for making that perfect Thanksgiving Day centerpiece. Please see Ann in HR for details. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. Uh, let's see. Attention all employees. A serious security breach has been occurred at our headquarters. Two of our generators and wires cut at several file cabinets set ablaze. We strongly believe that this was an attempt by Hornwright Industrial at, at sabotage. Nothing critical was destroyed, but the fact that our security was bypassed is a cause for concern. If you see anyone inside the facility without proper badge, inform the security officer immediately. Break rooms. Who hasn't got a memo about the break rooms? Who got a memo? Have they ever worked anywhere where they got a memo about the break room. I have been, I've worked nearly every place that at some point there's a memo about the break room. All right? Let's see what theirs is. Uh, it, it's come to our attention that the break rooms in our facility have been left in an appallingly poor condition. This is the same exact one I always get. Uh, when you've completed your break, be sure to pick up your trash and leftover foodstuffs and dispose of them properly. We all lurk, we all lurk long, long hours here, and I'm certainly uh, I'm certain that we collectively wish to enjoy a clean and healthy work environment. That is exactly the same menu memo. Yeah, Bert Labs knows what I'm talking about. Hey, Ripley, what's up? Hopefully, cross platform will become available soon. At some point, I play on Xbox, and no one else does. I'm about to play right now, Ripley. You're going to play here after this. Come play with us. Come on, I'll play with you. Let's go. Let's go. Find me at Kismet BP. Get yourself hooked up. Come play with us. We'll get into some mischief. Uh, let's go. There's, uh, been a lot of speculation, uh, in the aftermath of the defeat at the man versus machine event, uh, that I felt it was time to set the record straight. As of this moment, all operations involving the excavator power armor are on hold until we can reevaluate. Any questions from the press or communications from Hornwright Industrial are to be, be immediately forwarded to the CEO's office. More information will follow in the coming weeks. Thank you for the patience and perseverance. All right. There we go. Consult the project's terminal, which is this direction. I'm going to consult my shoddy. That's what I'm going to consult. There's where you're hiding. The scorch love to come from behind you and gank you. R&D. Somebody tripped and fell. This is like loot.com in here. Ah, must resist. Let's go. Oh, I'm not going to resist this. Power armor station. Hello there, my little beauty. What you got for me? Fusion core. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Don't got time to scrap it. But I do have time to go to the terminal here. Let's go. Let's go. Excavator module blueprints. Uh, download it. Oh, look at this, everybody. We got the ability to craft some excavator uh, armor now. Oh, you know what we're going to be doing next time. You know what we're going to be doing. Uh, let's get that excavator armor going on. I see people with it all the time. Now I know. And thank you for not spoiling. I appreciate it. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here to read, which I think we already read this stuff, right? 
I don't remember if we did. We'll read again next time, just in case. Uh, now we got to build it. What was this register? Activation armor registration. Uh, registration station two. So we got to make it and then register it. All right. All right. I'm down for that next time. I'm down for that. Uh, let's go ahead and bounce out, though, so we don't just, like, log in into, like, a whole swarm of mobs, which is probably not a good idea. Unlocking the Excavator. Uh, hey, how's this game? Uh, how's the game? It is really good. Fallout fanboy. It's really good. Now, of course, you know, if uh, you're looking for a Fallout 3, now, I've played all the Fallouts. I'm a huge Fallout fan. It's my favorite series. In fact, I probably played Fallout before you knew, even knew Fallout existed. I've been a graphic designer for 25 years. I actually worked on the original Fallout box. That's right. The artwork and all the stuff that went inside it when you got the collector's edition for the normal price <laughs> back in the day. Of course, you were rocking those floppy disks back in the day. I feel like I hear something. Hey, what is this, possum? Get out my, get out my lawn. Boom, right here. Now, of course, before we go, get that purified water. Get those caps, put it in your pocket. So I have lots of fun playing it. But if you say, Kismet, is this uh, is this better than uh, Fallout New Vegas? I'd say no. Uh, if you said, is it better than Fallout 3? I'd say, nope, not yet. Uh, would you say it's better than Fallout 4? Absolutely not. Uh, I would say that it is a great take on the Fallout universe. Lots of great lore in here. Like we figured out. Uh, we figured out uh, how, where Caps started, right? At least I believe that's where they started. Some great lore. Uh, I have lots of fun playing the game. And that's all that matters. If you have fun playing the game, don't listen to everybody else's negativity and wah, wah, wah. Because you know what? They don't want Fallout 76. What they want is Fallout 5. And they're like, Kesman, it has no NPCs. It has some NPCs. Did you see them shooting at me just a minute ago? There's plenty of NPCs. Uh, and there's plenty of uh, vendors, and there's plenty of quests, and there's plenty of lore, and there's plenty to do, and where to go, and do all the stuff. Unless you're one of those people who just run, who just run through the game like nobody's business. Uh, it just gets to the end as fast as possible to prove that they are the, you know, the 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 big cheese. Like, look at me, I'm level 490. I got to the end in 10 hours. Uh, no, thank you. I, you know, I gotta balance my life. <laughs> I gotta balance my time out. Right? I like to get the most of this. Right? That's my money. I spent $200 on this collector's edition. I'm going to get my money's worth. I bought Fallout 76 not only on PC, but also got it on Xbox. We're going to play that next. I've also got it on PS4. We're going to play that later as well. So we're going to play it on all three platforms. So I think that's enough on the PC today. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get back to my overseer's office. And we'll switch over. Let's go. All right, now I've learned my lesson. By the way, welcome to my overseer's office if you've never seen it, been here before. Uh, you think it's amazing? I do too. I really like it, Fallout Boy. It's a different take on it, though. Set your expectations properly. Don't expect it to be a Fallout 5 where you have a Nick Valentine or something like that that you're running along with a companion and you're doing all that stuff. That is not its style. They told you that up front. They told you it is not the same thing. It is not a single-player experience. It's a multiplayer experience. They wanted to try it, and they took a beating. You know what? When they man up and they take a beating, and then they still say, you know what? We're going to bring you more content. We're going to fix these bugs. We're going to do that. Our bad. We want to make a great game for you. We want to deliver a great game for you. And they have done that at a degree, right? Now, you know, I'm not a kiss butt, so I'm going to tell you there are some problems in there. Sometimes you have a server problem, like every other game. Like every other game that's ever been launched ever, right? When people said, oh, it's got a server problem. I had someone say, oh, well, I never had any problem in Apex. And then I'd link them this, <laughs> I'd link them this article where it says Apex having server problems, right? Uh, I could go back and list, you know, wow, back in the day was a train wreck. It was a huge dumpster fire uh, on launch. Uh, you know, I got to think, I got 300 members ready to log into World of Warcraft, right? 300 members. Now, I got to listen to 300 members back in Ventrilo before that Discord. Uh, just bitch all night long. I can't get on the server. I can't do my stuff. I can't do my quests. I can't do the thing. Man, that was every night for like uh, half a year. That was like six months of that before they got it working, before it started going, right? So I give them a good six months or whatnot. And I will call them out on stuff. I'll call them out. I'll say, you know what? I, the radios, the radios are playing. I have to run to radios and I have to turn those off. Otherwise, I'll get striked on YouTube. I'll get striked on there. I have to run after them every single time. And they added a feature that I don't have to hear the radios. I can turn the world radios off, all the way off. Bam, I don't have to hear them anymore, right? I don't have to run and turn them off. Uh, it makes it awesome for me. 
Some people don't want to have to go turn off all the radios everywhere because there's radios everywhere in 76. I mean, there's like, there's one in this house, there's one in the next one, and one in the next one, one in the next one, and they're all on. So it's not like they're off that you can go and turn them on. They're all on where you have to go turn them all off. There's a huge difference there. So I have lots of fun doing that. Now, later on, PS4, got that at the ready. And of course, right now, fire up that Xbox. Let's go. Let's go. Now, of course, I have the ability to switch between all of them, uh, which is super cool. Allows me to play 100% of the games. Now, I don't care what you're on. I don't care if you're on Xbox or PS4 or on PC or on Switch or on mobile or whatever, because we're going to be playing all of that today, except for Switch. Uh, we're going to be doing all the um, uh, all of the platforms. We're going to do PC, which we just did. We're going to do Xbox. We're going to do PS4. And we're going to do mobile later on. I'm going to try out the new Elder Scrolls Blades, right? I got the early access. I saw it come through today. And I'm like, whoa, downloading that sucker. <laughs> Downloaded it right away. Yes, I did. I didn't work on the games. I worked on the graphics. I worked on the box of the outside. Uh, and, of course, on all the graphics that goes along with the box and all that other stuff back in the day. Uh, and I had my, the place where I worked, had a little, uh, had a little client you might have heard of before. Interplay, of course, the makers of the original Fallout 1 uh, back in the day. So uh, really, really excellent. I got to meet, by the way, the people who ran Interplay. It was pretty awesome. They come into my office. I say, hey, how you guys are doing? And they said, oh, doing good. We're making such and such game, right? I don't, you know, back in the day before even anybody even knew about those games. And I would get the games first. It was pretty awesome because I would talk to them and say, I'm a huge gamer. I love games. been playing games since I was a, basically, I like I came out of the womb and I was already playing. <laughs> that's basically how hardcore of a gamer I am. Now, I never did it like, you know, I'm going to become a streamer, I'm going to become a gamer, I'm going to make games. That's not wasn't my passion when I was young. I absolutely hated programming, even though I took programming and I could ace that program. I actually got an F in that program. I got an F in programming because uh, they forced me into programming. They go, oh, you'd be great for programming. And it was funny because every time he'd call on me, I'd know the answer, which really pissed off my teacher because you know what I was doing said? Well, there was a cute girl. You know how it goes, guys. Uh, and also, I just sit there and draw all the time. Because I'm, I'm an artist. So I don't sit there and I'd be drawing. And I'd be doing stuff. And one time, the dude came up and he like lift up my desk. He's like, hey, pay attention. And he, I looked up there and he's like, what's going on right there? And I'm like, da 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 And I was like, oh, you know, I already did all this stuff. I already know all this. Right? I don't even want to be in this class. I want to be in silk screening. Right? Uh, I don't want to do this. I, I understand the amazingness of it. And if it's your passion, go for it. Go for it. It was not my passion. You got to find your passion. You got to find it, right? And that was an extracurricular class anyway. Uh, so I said, you know what? Not I'm not letting nobody force me into any classes I don't want to be in in the future. And that's exactly what I did. I took architecture next. And of course, I took seal screening. And then I also took uh, 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 making stuff out of clay, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so I went and did that instead. I took, uh, man, that silk screening class, that helped me in my career more than anything else. Totally did. It was amazing. Uh, there we go. There we go. So I have a lots of fun. So, uh, let's get into it. What am I doing? I'm pressing buttons over here. I'm switching to Xbox. There we go. Uh, wait for it to load. Xbox. Let's go. There we go. All right. Let's go and play some Xbox 76. Let's go. All right, loading it up. Now, of course, every time I get on console, I feel like a pig skating on ice <laughs> because uh, I always feel like, nope, can't do it. Uh oh, you got timed out for something there, Fallout Boy. Sorry about that, bro. Uh, I don't know what it was. Make sure to read those chat rules before you come into someone's stream uh, and do something. I'm sure my mods did it for a reason. They do not do it randomly. They do it at my uh, at my request. They follow, they... Uh, Time people out for those chat rules. Make sure to be watching them nice and close. I don't want you to get banned out of my channel. Then you don't have a chance to win Fallout 76. I've given away tons of copies of 76. I am partnered with Bethesda. Appreciate them big time. Um, appreciate the love uh, as well. But again, I tell it to you straight, everybody. All right, let's get into some adventure. Now, if you want to join me, I'm going to go ahead and jump down uh, into my Discord, into the 76. Now, I want to work a little bit on this guy as well. I'm trying to work on uh, a bunch of different things. Silk screening, that's doing t-shirts. Like right here, I'm wearing my Nitrato, right? Somebody's got to print that on the shirt, right? Because normally you get the shirts and then you have it printed on there. I can print that in my sleep, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I've done so many shirts, I've did literally thousands of shirts. 
Thousands of shirts. I've done hundreds of thousands of projects from billboards to, uh, of course, game boxes, like I said. Uh, I've done uh, CDs. Uh, I've done stuff for like uh, Motown, Capitol Records. I've done stuff for Disney. I'm not trying to impress you. I'm just giving you an idea of all the fun stuff I've gotten to do in my career. Hopefully, it inspires you. I have like zero ego. I don't care if you're impressed by me. Uh, I just uh, I just do what I love to do every day. And I find that's amazing. I find that's amazing that every day when you can get up and just do something you love, right? And you know what it is. I know that most of you know what it is. Some of you don't yet. Some of you haven't discovered it yet. But most of you know, because you know what? When you wake up in the morning and you think, man, I sure wish I was. Insert this, right? I sure wish I was a doctor or a lawyer, a game developer. I sure wish I was this thing. Maybe that's what you're meant to be. Maybe that's what you're meant to be. And I challenge you to chase that dream. Now, sometimes you're going to have to take that McDonald's job. Sometimes you're going to have to be the janitor, but don't stop there, right? Learn everything you can and learn everything you can at that McDonald's. What's the manager's job? What's the person behind there's job, right? Acquires many skills because you never know when you're going to need those skills later on. Like right now you think, well, I don't need that. I don't need any of those skills. Those are a waste of time. Believe me, it comes back up a lot. Back up a lot in, the, in your life of skills that you've learned from some just random job you had way down here when you were trying to climb your way up to that dream job. Believe me, I work at Apple, man. The, the most important skill there was not having my massive technical knowledge that I've had, you know, from all the years of being there. It was being able to talk to people and solve their problems and resolve issues, right? I was a senior tech over there. I work with, uh, and of course, work with other teams, right? And I've been working with teams my entire career. Now, I'm working with some of the top people in the world, bro. You got to step it up. You can't just, you know, phone it in. You got to get 100% on every single test. You got to get out there and you got to know everything about every product that they sell. Everything about every product. That's right. And the more you can deliver on that, you could. That's when I had a memory. That's when I had a memory. It worked great back then. Uh, it was super nice. And of course, I worked on a lot of black op projects. Again, I say this all the time. I can tell you about the projects. I just can't tell you what they were because, you know, uh, NDA uh, assassins from Apple will kill me live here on stream, which would be awesome stream uh, thing. But oh, guys, I'm like hanging out in the dark, hanging out in the dark. Now, again, you can find me uh, on Xbox. Now, the reason this is why I bought these Xboxes, uh, Xbox and PS4, by the way, is to play with all of you. Now, nobody pops on here. I see a bit slippy there. We got Big Chief, uh, Crazy El Fuzzy Nuts. You want to come join us? Let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Got Monster as well. Anybody else wants to come in? Of course, you can add me to your friends list. Uh, I find actually the friends list on Xbox a bit harder than PS4. Uh, Xbox has this like whole convoluted system where uh, PS4 is like, you got a friend, add. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Make sure our stuff is working. Now, let's see this character here. This character is first person. That's that. Let's zoom in. B is Pip-Boy. All right, what are we at? What do we add on this guy? We are level 12. We're level 12 on this guy. Now, of course, now that I know a bit more about the game, it's a bit easier to go from place to place, right? Because you know a little bit about the lore, you know a little bit like that. Of course, we got to blow up, blow up some stuff here. Oh, I got no bullets. So I guess I ain't blowing up nothing. Let's go ahead and change our weapon. Vitally important. Back up a little bit, though. Here we go. There we go. You jump on for PS4? Awesome. Again, if you want to join me, just send me an invite. This is uh, what I bought these for so I can play with my community uh, as well. We can go and get in some trouble. Again, I'd like to uh, fertile soil. All right, man. We're bumming for resources. We got here. Summer special, we got one. You know what, we need a melee weapon. Why we don't, don't have a melee weapon? What's up with that? I always like to have uh, a melee weapon just in case. There we go, we got a, we got a sledgehammer. Let's do that, uh, let's go ahead and favorite that. What is it, right mouse button? Uh, now actually what we really wanna do is we wanna pull up our uh, thing here and I like to put it right at the very top or uh, somewhere like in number one uh, where I have that sledgehammer so it's easy to grab. Now, we'll also uh, switch back and forth between the sledgehammer, like the gun uh, and the sledgehammer, uh, like right here. And pick that. 
Oh, that's why I can't use it. It's broken. It's broken sledgehammer. Let's go and, and repair it. All right, Golden Waffles and Kismet. I like what you do. Let me show you a little bit of love with that Prime sub. And, of course, he is now unstoppable. Uh, there we go. Thank you, Golden Waffle, for that epic uh, Twitch Prime. Appreciate that love. Unlocking uh, your emotes here in the chat, as well as unlocking that epic sub badge. Take good care of your little baby dragon. He will grow up nice and big and strong. And before you know it, he'll be in here, and all of a sudden, he'll be just like... Blast a dragon fire out of here. <laughs> like that. Uh, look at all that love for you in the chat. Look at that massive love. That's why I love it. That's why I love it. Uh, I see Cameron in the chat as well. What's up? Going to play on PS4. Nice. Silk screen. Yeah, it's like uh, printing. T-shirt printing. Uh, can everyone... Uh, no, no, no. Pokey, what's up, Pokey? Checking that up time. Hey, Pokey, come play, bro. Uh, when are you doing PC? I haven't played uh, since the beta for an hour or two. I just was doing PC, Pokey. Sorry, Mr. Comet, bro. Uh, recently bought Fallout 76. Says, uh, hey, Mr. Winston, really enjoy it, even if I don't know what I'm doing. That's the best time. That's my favorite time of playing games. It's right at the very beginning. You have no freaking clue what's going on. You don't know where the maps, what the map is, right? Where stuff is. That's why I never look up stuff uh, ahead of time. I would like to feel like just drop me in the game and I will have to fend for myself, and I love that moment. That's why I don't like to be fast-tracked or people to give me power armor or to give me items, uh, because I like that struggle. I like that beginning part. I think that's where the magic is. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I just hopped in bed, Kesbet. Uh, I'd love to play with you another time on Xbox. Yeah, next week. Next week's Ripley. I'll be. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna try to get this as a as a weekly thing, right? We'll call it uh, Thursdays with the crew. Uh, Thursdays with the tycoons. How about that? I'll come up with an awesome name, or you guys come up with an awesome name and let my mods know. Uh, there we go. And Fortnite was an accident. They could do cross-platform. They ain't fooling me. Come on. Flip on the Switch for all the other games. Let us play cross-platform already. Come on, especially something like Fallout 76. I mean, uh, come on, it's a Fallout. should let us play. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are going to... Oh, I can't repair here. We got to repair at a uh, armor station. I don't think there's any here. Wait, we don't need to go get no armor station. We don't need to go look for none. We can make our own. Let's go. Now, of course, this is a great place to start, by the way. Usually stem packs uh, right here. Sometimes there's some rataways over here. And again, this respawns pretty much every time you log in. You get into another server, uh, depending on how long it's been. I think it's a 24-hour spawn is what I'm kind of feeling so far. Uh, but it really, I think it you know, just bounce around. Bounce around, eventually uh, it will spawn on that particular server. And it could be 24 hours on whenever that server last was looted, right? Hey, I collected 76 caps. Look at me. Uh, so we don't need to do this, everybody. Hey, what's up, Welch? How you doing, bro? Take it easy, man. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know who that is. But I do know that I can go ahead and grab my camp. Oh, look at him. I'm rich. I got 106 caps. Uh, and then I can go ahead and left mouse button. And that's going to pull up my camp. Now, I can't do it here because it's too close to town. So I'm just going to hoof it a little bit up the hill here. I mean, which one's jump? Which one's jump? Why is jump? All right. Hoof it up the hill a little bit away from town. And then we're going to try it again. Left mouse button. There we go. So we just throw our camp down right here. Now, the camp system is pretty awesome. I prefer the settlement system myself from Fallout 4. I love, love, love. I've made massive mega builds. I've uh, made literally millions and billions of caps. Totally legit. As being the Wasteland Tycoon. That's what they call me up here in the stream. Up here in the stream. What's up, Welch? How you doing, brother? Hi there. Wait. Hello, Welch. How you doing? Yeah, is that somebody in the stream? Oh, it's a beast tiger. Hold on, bro. Let me send you the love. What's up, man? Let me send you the love. Yeah, yeah. Love, love, love. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you being here. How do I add you? To I can just add you to my team. Let's do it. Boom. Oh, he's not selecting invites at this time. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, you want to add me to friends, you let me know. Uh, let's go ahead and get into our uh, build mode. Now, I've actually got some stored uh, blueprints already that I did uh, previously. Uh, let's see. We need to get it where it's... Actually, where I can put it down. Let's say right there is good. I can't even see. Can't even see it. Uh, and let's go ahead and get out of there. 
There we go. So I made a little like prefabbed house here. Uh, and you can see I've got a little bit of entrance there, but I got a little bit of a problem. <laughs> I got a slight problem. How do I get up there, right? Now, you can do this kind of thing where you walk up there and it does this kind of weird, whoop, like you're floating. Uh, I hate doing that stuff. I hate doing that. I like to just do it totally legit like this. There we go. There we go. Now we got it going on. Oh, we, we, we failed uh, fertile soil. And let's get our light on. Oh, not our light. Oh, get out of there. Got a console. You got to get used to it again. All right. See, look, we can have our own little, uh, our own little camp. Uh, if you have not played seventy six before, uh, the camp system and the uh, building system is massively improved. Much, much uh, improved over Fallout Four. Absolutely, the graphics are like four times the quality, or sorry, the graphics are ten times the quality, and the map is four times the size, which is pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. All right, why to repair? But we want to make sure we get our sledgehammer first. Repair that. Oh, it's a level ten weapon too. Very nice. And then let's go ahead and get our pistol. And we've got a hatchet as a backup. So what's better, a hatchet which does twenty one. Or hammer does 45. I would say that at 45. Some are special. Don't have really that much ammo, but that's okay. We'll get it going. Now, I like the 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter is a great start weapon, both in Fallout 4 and here in 76. Though, versus certain mobs, uh, it's not so great. It uh, it basically does barely any damage. I learned that basically uh, some of your uh, some of your weapons, uh, depending on their level and depending on the mobs level. Uh, has an effect, right? Uh, if you don't stack like a whole bunch of stuff that has to do with your weapon in your perks, you're screwed because eventually that weapon is literally just going to peter out uh, and basically have no uh, real damage to it. So make sure that you decide uh, what weapons you like to use when you're grabbing those perks. Uh, so let's get in there. Let's see. We need a little bit more of these things. Let's see if I've unlocked them yet. Uh, let's see. Where is it at? I use this so little because it doesn't have settlements. Sometimes I have to look for stuff. Crafting. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Uh, so we also need our armor bench. Uh, where's our rotate? There's our rotate. It's the uh, left and uh, left and right. There we go. Uh, and we also need our other one here. Now we've also got some uh, turrets up here defending us right now, which is pretty good. Uh, but it does kind of block our space. To build this now, the reason why I also made this so small is because you had you were so limited uh, before, and we're gonna store that. We're gonna hit A. No, we're gonna hit uh, X. X to store, and then X to store again. There we go. X to store. You were so limited in what you could build. Also, stuff would get in your way, like trees and stuff like that. But now they made it where if you put your stuff down, it takes out the trees. It takes out the bushes. If you uh, put your stuff down, you have like twice the size that you had before. I would say even bordering on three times the size that you had before uh, to build stuff. So we could go in here. We could build a lot of stuff. Now, we're not going to spend a lot of time building uh, here. But uh, we are going to try to uh, at least put down some of the stuff we're going to need. There we go. Put that down. Got that going. We got that going. We got this going. Uh, do we have the smaller one? We do not. We don't have that one yet. We'll have to find that one. Okay. So, again, now that I know a bit more about the game, I do know that one of the things I want to do, of course, repair my weapons. Go in, of course, make ammo, right? We're going to need lead, plastic, uh, and all of that. So, let's go ahead and see if we can make some ammo here. Uh, let's just make a bunch of 10 millimeter. See if that'll help us out today. Right there. Yeah, we got a little bit, a little bit. Let's do it. Lots of ammo. Knocking out a little bit of a beat there, too. <laughs> All right. Death from above. Uh-oh, everybody. Attention, citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh-oh, that's pretty fun. Wish I had people uh, that I liked uh, 76 to play with. Hey, Dark Void, I'm playing right now. What are you playing on? Let me know in there. Now, of course, if you are looking for other people to play 76 with, here's what you do. You go onto the Discord. 
discord.gg slash kismet or even easier my mods will throw it in the chat or you can click the link down below go in there go in the lurker channel you say hey kismet i want to be part of the wasteland tycoons i'm looking for somebody to play with for 76 then what you do is you go and introduce yourself in the introduce yourself section and say hey i love fallout uh i dig it i'm playing some 76 uh, or I'm playing whatever, uh, whatever game you like to play, and I'm playing it on, maybe you're playing some Apex. Hey, go on there and get, find some Apex crew uh, as well. And, of course, you want to play with me uh, here on Thursdays. I play on PC, on Xbox, and also on PS4. Uh, so we're playing on all three. Now, right now, hanging out, uh, just kind of building up my camp a little bit until somebody wants to play uh, and be my friend uh, today. Now, normally I play with Monster Holic. He's pretty epic. Uh, but right now, nobody on right now is a bummer. I got to do a little bit of lone wandering. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we can get it going on. Now, again, if you do want to play with me, let me know. Allison, Allison Wonderland. Uh, thank you so much saying, hey, what's up? I love your emotes. I love your Mind Matters emotes. That is so cool. That was super cute. Super cute emote. Uh, hiya. Exactly. Kids, any plans to get back to Fallout 4? Uh, and your settlement building. I am very tempted all the time to go back and play it, but I only have so much time and I'm, you know, I'm mega streaming. I'm trying to bring you guys all sorts of epic content. Uh, we're playing on different platforms. We've got a whole bunch of different games. I have a whole bunch of sponsors saying, hey, Kesbit, you want to play this game? I'm like, yeah, I want to play that game. I think my community would love it. So, you know, try to do as much as I can here because uh, there's only one me. <laughs> now, if I didn't have wife, I didn't have kids, I would probably be just like some of these other streamers who stream basically 12 hours to 16 hours a day because it's very, very fun. Now, what you need to do after a little bit of while, though, uh, is you do need to stand up and, you know, uh, let that blood flow so you don't get blood clots. Uh, you need to drink lots and lots of agua, which I always keep me a couple uh, uh, eight ounces right here. So, you know, every now and again, drink some water, keep yourself hydrated. And of course, hit the gym. Make sure to go out and enjoy your IRL. Hmm. Mm. I love me some ice cold water. Ice cold still. I've been sitting there for like an hour. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, trying to make my lack of sleep a positive. Well, here you go, Allison. Let me tell you a little lack of sleep issue. I never get to catch the streams anymore, but my sleep schedule is a disaster right now. Uh, if you don't know my story, for those of you just wandering into the stream, I could have just got nuked. Where to get nuked at? Oh, look, they're, they're nuking the white spring again. At least, at least I wasn't getting nuked. Uh, I, have a, I have sleeping problems as well. I have sleep apnea. Sleep apnea means that uh, you uh, have trouble sleeping, uh, basically, as you would imagine. Uh, and, of course, uh, I stop breathing when I'm sleeping. So what you do, they give you normally like a CPAP that you put over your uh, mouth, which works for some people. It doesn't work for me. I have a bit of an overbite, and it makes me feel like I'm going to suffocate and die, which makes it hard for me to sleep, <laughs> which uh, doesn't help my sleep patterns at all, uh, and so I uh, got a mandible device, which is basically like, uh, kind of like, uh, uh, you know those Avisa lines where you get those things that you put in there, except for it has a little metal bar and it keeps your jaw forward, so you don't suffocate at night, so every single night I go to sleep, I could not wake up tomorrow, I'm not kidding, I'm not trying to get your sympathy or anything like that, just telling you that's the real deal. So I understand uh, the problem with uh, sleep apnea and with people who have sleep issues. I, uh, I hope that you can find a way to make it better because four years ago, I got so sick I couldn't go anywhere. Couldn't go anywhere, couldn't do anything. I also got vertigo at the same time, which of course those two things aggravate themselves when you don't get a lot of sleep and you're always dizzy all the time. I have a middle channel uh, problem in my ear and I had to give up my epic job at Apple where I literally work from home. My, my commute was from the downstairs to the upstairs. That was my commute, making that big fat stacks of cash to put in my pocket. My wife didn't have to work. She hadn't have to work for 10 years, taking good care of my kids, which is a lot of work. I'm not saying that's not work, uh, but she didn't have to go to work. There's a, there's a difference. Uh, and I had to give that up. And so then I had to start again. I had to choose something else that I love to do. And what else do I love to do other than graphic design? Doing it right this moment. And it took a lot of work. And it took going to the gym and stop drinking so much soda, right? And then starting to take better care of myself. I lost 50 pounds. 50 pounds. You go back and look at my streams when I started. I got a big old fat kismet face. <laughs> uh, I still get a little bit because I've been drinking soda. You can see it always comes back on underneath my chin for some reason. See? Right there. Under there. 
Now, take good evaluation of yourself too, right? You know, it's, it's just nothing's easy. Everybody always tells you, oh, it's easy to lose weight. It's easy to do that. No, it's not. I'm not going to BS you. It ain't easy. You got to bust your butt. You got to make them smart decisions every time. You're like, hmm, cream-filled donut, or am I going to have this energy bar, right? I'm a cream-filled donut person myself, but I should be having the energy bar. <laughs> so there we go. So yes, it's taken me about four years to get to the point where I am now, where I can drive again and I can spend time with my kids and I can, you know, run around a little bit. I played, I was playing some Foursquare with them about a week ago. Uh, I went about an hour, which I consider a long time, uh, playing my kids, playing some Foursquare and teaching them my old skills I used to have when I was a kid. I was the king of Foursquare as a kid. Uh, and uh, I basically recovered, but then I got dizzy and I had to stop. So, you know, you, you try to push the limits a little bit, but you don't try to push it where you die. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to enjoy what I do. I suggest you do the same. Don't waste your time worrying about what other people think. Don't take their negativity, stick it on your shoulder. It's not your job. It's not your job to carry their negativity around. And frankly, if they cared about you, they wouldn't be tearing you down. They'd be raising you up right here like Dark Void is right here in this stream. Raising people up, showing them the love. Now, I want you guys to take that love. I want you to amplify it. And I want you to blast it in the chat right now. Come on, let's blow it up in the chat, everybody. Now, again, my stream is all about the positivity. It's all about getting a little boost in your day. You know, I'm not going to tear you down. I appreciate you being here. I care about you if you're in my stream. Because you don't get that much in life, right? You know, you find those special someones who are very rare. You find some good friends. You find that significant other, right? Who are there for you? Who are there for you? Like my wife, I've known my wife 26 years. Hey, I'm not only a boss in game, I'm a boss in real life. Real life achievement right there, everybody. <laughs> uh, I've done lots of real life achievements, not only game achievements, because I have been out there rocking that real life as well. And that's why you don't see me here 12 hours a day or 16 hours a day or 20 hours a day, right? Some, some days are 20 hour days, uh, but not all the time. Because I got to find that good balance, right? And the more I take care of that IRL, the more I get to game, right? That's the balance. You don't take care of one thing, the less of the other thing you get. You start neglecting that IRL, guess what? Them bills are going to come due. Then you don't get to do the games anymore because you got no lights, you got no power, right? You got to find you got to find that good balance. Thank you so much for the follow. I Rage Master coming in, uh, dropping the dragon hammer, crushing that follow button and becoming part of the Wasteland Tycoons. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Yuri Burrito or Yuri Brito. I don't know. I butcher everybody's name. If I butcher your name, consider it part of my charm. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Look at that love in the chat. Look at that love. You know what? That's so much love. I say we dish out 5,000 kids caps here in the stream. Now, you know, it'd be epic if I could have someone just come in and explain a little bit about kids caps because I get that question all the time. Kismet, what are kids caps? Well, I'm going to have a friend of mine come in tell you a bit about it. He actually runs my chat too. He's my chat, my chat guy. He's going to hook you up right now. Hello, this is Salt Bot. You might be wondering, what are Kiss Caps, and how do I use them? They are loyalty points for watching Kismet's stream. There are many ways to earn Kiss Caps, whether you are a streamer or viewer. Some free, and some are for above and beyond supporters. Let me show you how. The easiest way is to hit the follow button and earn an instant 1000 Kiss Caps, or by hosting by going to your channel by using the Twitch menu in the upper right corner, open your chat in a new window and type slash host space kismet. Another way is to team up with other wasteland tycoons in the chat and earn 500 caps for every 5 retweets on Twitter. Each time you unlock another 5 retweets the amount increases by 500 each time. So you get 500, then 1000 more, then 1500 more, etc. Use the RT command in the chat at any time to find the right tweet. Earn even more bonus kiz caps by participating in the chat with some GG's. If you want to go above and beyond you can donate to the stream or subscribe using your Twitch Prime. Or choose one of the three levels of sub support. This will get you instant in 5000 kiz caps, plus kismet emotes. Earn 3 times kiz caps just for hanging out in the stream and 3 times the chance of winning contests and giveaways. Let us talk about how to enter Kismet's giveaway. First type exclamation loot in the chat to check how many Kiz caps you have. Remember that each ticket costs 10 Kiz caps. You are now ready to enter the giveaway. Type exclamation ticket. Then add a space and type the number 1. Everyone gets a free ticket and a chance to win. If you would like to buy more tickets and increase your chance to win you can buy more like, 
10, 1000, up to 10,000 tickets per giveaway if you have enough kiz caps built up. Thank you for being an amazing part of the stream and good luck. Boom! There's my buddy! You know what? I just thought of a brilliant idea. Man, sometimes I have just a flash of genius. Hits me like lightning. Right in my noggin! By the way, I did see those follows, and you know what? I appreciate every follow. Every I appreciate every follow so much that I'm going to replay those follows so you don't get missed here in the stream. By the way, I record every single stream, so if you hit follow, it's going to be in my it's going to be in my streams forever. There you go. Uh, let's see, Milk Andy coming in with the love as well as the love, Maddie. Dropping the dragon hammer, crushing that follow button, and becoming part of the Wasteland Tycoons. You're like, kiss me. Who does your epic animations? This guy! Not only my graphic designer, I've been also a 3D animator uh, as well for a long time. Uh, since the beginning. Since the beginning of programs back in the day. Since like the beginning of Photoshop and Illustrator. I pioneered all of that. I worked on million dollar computers. You're like, kiss me. Ah, you're bragging. Nope. Just trying to inspire you. I don't care if you know. I don't. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to do that. It doesn't bother me at all if you go, ah, kiss me. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. I'm past the days of ego. I don't wear, you know, thousand dollar suits anymore. I don't do all of that ridiculous, you know, trying to impress other people. You know what people are impressed by? When you're having fun, you're doing what you love. People are impressed by that. You want to impress people, you know what? Don't act like a secret agent. Just walk up to that special someone and say, you know what? I think you're wonderful. Feel that? Feel that moment we just had? That's all you do. How do I know? Been with my wife 26 years. That's how I know. <laughs> that's how I know. Uh, all right. And of course, here's a great tip, by the way. Here, try this tomorrow. Try this tomorrow, everybody. Buy an unexpected gift at an unexpected time. Go buy a gift for your significant other. Doesn't have to be expensive, by the way. You know, a really well-picked gift is better than a really expensive gift. Just buy them an unexpected gift and say, I was thinking about you. I was thinking about you today. You don't have to mention my name. <laughs> I was thinking about you today, uh, and I thought this little bracelet, I saw it in the store, thought about you, or I found this snow globe, or I found this book, or I got this thing, right? You don't have to buy them an Xbox. I'm not saying you have to buy them a lot of stuff, right? You just buy them something special. Or just say, I was thinking about you today. Would you like to go out to dinner? Would you like to go out to something, right? That's it. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be a grand gesture all the time. Right? No, of course, grand gestures are great. Birthdays and, you know, uh, holidays and uh, anniversaries and stuff like that. That's great. But just do it randomly. That's what you do because they won't expect it. That's the best time. Like when you call up your parents and you say, I'm not, I don't need nothing. I just wanted to say I love you. I was thinking about you. Call up your friends and try that. You want to build a really strong friends relationship? Just call up your friends and say, I was thinking about you. How you doing? Imagine if somebody did that for you, right? Just think of all your friends right now. How many of your friends have ever called you when they didn't need anything? Put it in the chat. How many, name how many, put a number in the chat. How many of your friends have called you for no reason other than just to see how you're doing? Go for it. Let's see. I want to see this chat. I want to see this chat. Right now, you guys are trying to tally it up. You're trying to tally it up. Some of you are tallying zero right now. I know what you're doing. I know. Those are the called fair weather friends. That don't call you up ever. Uh, who don't call you up ever unless they want something. Yeah, those are what's called known as fair weather friends. Now, some people call you up. They find out you've had a problem. You got in an accident. You hurt yourself. That kind of stuff. Uh, you know, if you get in a car accident or whatever. The people who call you after something bad like that happens, those are your true friends. Those are your true friends who call you up and say, are you okay? You need some help? You need me to come drive you to work because your car is crashed? Right? Those are the special people. Now, I can call my friends right now. Call them on my epic phone. My cool uh, Wasteland Tycoon thing in there. I call them up right now. They'll fly here from wherever they are in the world. They're in Japan right now. They'll fly here right now. And those are the type of friends you want to keep in your life, right? Those are the type of people you want around you. Zero, yep. Zero, right? You want to be that friend. Be that friend to them and expect them to be that friend to you. And if they're not, go find some better friends. Because <laughs> they're, they're very hard to find. Very hard to find people who care about you enough that they'll just call you for no reason. Uh, and the same thing about with your parents, right? Just give them a call. I mean, it'll shock them. They'll be thinking about that for a month. Just You can have a big old laugh when you call them up. And say, I'm just thinking about it. I just want to tell you I love you. Well, got to go. All right, bye. And then hang up and know that they're going to be thinking about that for a month. Why, why did they call me? He didn't want nothing. That's weird. 
It's weird that they just called me up and didn't want nothing. <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, my Marine brothers, there we go. See, in the military, you got your bros, right? You've been in some difficult situations, right? You've you forged some serious friendships there, right? I have a lot of military friends. My wife's family is a military family, so is mine. Uh, yeah, my wife's uh, my wife's mom is a E9, bro. E9, you don't mess around. You don't mess around with no E9s. <laughs> they, they way up there, way up there. She's retired, though. She's retired. E9 in the Navy. That's hardcore right there. That's hardcore military. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. My girlfriend calls me every day. She's my best friend. That's how you do it. I'm dipping, dude. That's how you do it. See? You know you found the one. Now, me and my wife communicate all the time. What are we doing today? What are we doing with the kids? What are we doing in the afternoon? What are we doing over here? Right? Got to have that communication going on. Sometimes we go out for movies. Sometimes just me and her. Sometimes me with the kids uh, and all that stuff. You know, you got to keep all those relationships strong, right? They're like the synapses in your brain. You got to keep them nice and strong. All right, what the heck am I doing? I'm just uh, talking a little bit. Attend a fraternity party. What? There's a party? I've been to a few of those, but that's not something I can talk about here on the stream. There's a PG-13 stream up in here. Uh, I've been to a few. What's going on up in here? I didn't know there was a party. I got invited to a party up here in Morgantown. I think I'm a little low level for that, but that ain't going to stop me from doing it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Now, again, if you want to join me for some Xbox, uh, let me know. Uh, let me know. Uh, I think we're, oh, we're almost time. We're almost up with Xbox today. Uh, so L Fuzzy Nuts. Maybe next time, bro. Maybe next time if you're going to join me for some Xbox. Maybe next week we'll get all our Xbox peeps hooked up. Uh, I'm going to do some PS4 here in just a moment. Okay, I like to get in a little bit. I have three friends that are really close to me. Awesome. Awesome. See, again, cherish those friends. It's like I cherish you guys here in the stream. I cherish each and every person that comes in my stream. If you're a streamer, don't don't lose sight of how you got there, right? Don't lose sight of how you got that purple check mark right there at the top of the stream. I know it's because of you guys. Frankly, I'm alive because of you guys. You guys gave me the love when I needed it most. I'm not kidding either. I'm not joking. In fact, nobody messes with my friends. Nobody messes with my crew. Was there a lunch? I don't know about a little ghoul lunch. God, it's so hard to aim on console. Oh, miss me. See, look, see the nine millimeter? It uh, it doesn't do that much damage unless you really spec into it. Got that sucker. I'm so, I'm such a noob on console. And now before I bought my Xbox, my PS4, and Switch all in a sequence. Whoa! Oh my gosh, you scared me, lady. What's up, Silver Knight Fox? You scared me. Ha <laughs> ha, what's up? Sending you the love right there. Aw, oh, thank you for coming in. Silver Knight Fox, you, you startled me there. I was like, I was like, ah! <laughs> Come out of nowhere. I'm easily startled, though. I'm easily startled. Uh, showing that love. See, now it would be nice if you could just walk up to somebody like this and then in, uh, invite them as a friend. That would be awesome. Now, one of the things that I find, speaking of awesome, is 99% uh, of the jerks who are uh, who were in Fallout 76 have left. So it leaves you uh, with a lot of really awesome people. I mean, I rarely, anybody ever bugs me. No one ever shoots at me anymore. Everybody is playing the way you would want to play a Fallout game, right? You want to play with other people and interact with other people, but you don't want to be worried about PvP. Now, if you like PvP, of course, they got the survival mode. You go do that now, right? And then PvP's on all the time. And if that's your thing, I like me some PvP, but not when I'm questing, not when I'm just hanging out with my friends and I'm trying to fight, you know, do a little PvE action, right? I don't want to get ganked while I'm sitting here, you know, just looking for loot. That's lame, because they, they don't just show up with one dude. Uh, they don't just show up with an evenly matched thing most of the time in world PvP. It's like 10 on 1, 15... Whoa, somebody hit me. Something just hit me. My controller went, went like that. There we go. All my friends uh, live in different states for me, uh, but they are friends, and when we're retired, there's no difference when we're back together. Uh, I'm on Xbox. I'm on Xbox right now. I'm on Xbox right now. Playing some games. I play on all three platforms. That's how hardcore. You want to see a hardcore Fallout fan right here. <laughs> That's right. All three platforms, baby. 
I don't mind. Oh, look, there's a fraternity right there. What's that? Name that fraternity, everybody. Hey! I'm talking here. All right, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to do our weapon switch. Now, uh, here in uh, with console, you can see the little button pop up. If you press to the left, it'll switch weapons. So you can go from, uh, uh, what I would do is probably put a close-up weapon uh, or a ranged weapon and then a close-up uh, hammer. Now, of course, the hammer never runs out of ammo, but it does get broken, right? Uh, so watch out for that. Watch out for that to get you up. Oh, use a stem pack for no reason. Wrong way. Yeah, let's get in here. Get a little, get a little aiming action going on. Now I still got to get my. Uh oh, metal light rig has been broken. Now I do love the back pedal. I think it works pretty good. Always kill the one with the lowest health, obviously, to get rid of that one out of the group. Always backing into something. See that? I backed into the curb. Got stuck on the curb. One of the problems with backpedaling uh, is the fact that you get stuck on stuff a lot. Uh, now, on PC, it's a little bit easier because, of course, you can aim a lot easier. But I've seen some people on console or playing PC with the uh, controller who are just amazing. I mean, they're insane uh, in their uh, targeting. Like, I mean, they're playing, like, Apex, and they're playing Battlegrounds or Fortnite or whatever, and they're like, boom, 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 and they're uh, taking a ton of people out. Uh, I'm still noobing it up with my controller. Every time I get back on the controller, I feel awkward. Awkward. But I embrace the awkward now. Embrace that awkward in life. Uh, if you're awkward, that's okay. You're still great. You're still great with the way you are. Uh, there we go. Uh, can you start on PS4 first, Ken? Maybe because I have to take my pills uh, at uh, at 10 next time. Sure, I can switch it next time, Rads. That's fine. That's fine. No problem. Uh, we have one of the friendly, most friendly community in the online game. Exactly. I think I think all of the people who wanted to gank people at the beginning of Fallout uh, 76 are now gone. Uh, so we don't have to worry about them. All the gankers. Cars are evil and they all must be destroyed. If you like explosions, you're in the right place. <laughs> Let's keep going. Uh, Alright, so we're doing a little bit of stuff. We're trying to attend the fraternity party. Of course, I don't know where the heck I'm going. I'm going the wrong direction. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're running out of time. Let's just get over here and see if we can get this going on. Uh, a little bit. Now again, sometimes I'm in here with my crew and sometimes I'm lone wandering. You can play the game either way uh, or a mixture of both, which is something that most people don't mention. You can do a little bit of uh, lone wandering when, you're, when your pals aren't on. Uh, get yourself built up. I find that's a great time to loot and work on money and work on your gear. And then when your crew's on, boom. Then you go work on those quests. You go work on those events. Uh, Johnny, back to the beat. Calling all responders. Sanjay here, letting you know that Steelheart is fully charged and ready for action. If you're in mobile oh. now, go ahead and activate him so we can check the alarms on the stash rooms. Just make sure he doesn't take too much damage. I've got a guess it is. Ah, oh, God. I look at my map and out of nowhere. Tons of ferals. Now, of course, actually, it's good to get ferals because ferals give you radaways. Oh, did a little switcheroo on you, didn't I? Did a little switcheroo. You didn't see that coming, did you? Nah, yeah, Kismet's got the moves. I got the moves. Ooh, we can call in some loot. Come on, where's those Rataways? Now, I find in the beginning of the game, Rataways are fairly difficult to find. Uh, but, you know, as you kill some ghouls, you'll start getting those Rataways. Now, ghouls that are killed by somebody else, you're not going to get any loot. Uh, unless they're part of your crew. Uh, so, if I just run up here, that's going to happen. I'm actually go up here. On this thing. Jump up here. There we go. Now we got the high ground. The high ground is the place to be. Uh, all right. We'll go log out there. All right. I'm trying to find the fraternity party, but I'm not finding it. Uh, let's use our map this time. All right. We are aiming in the right direction. There's a 40 in this direction. Let's go. I actually love the uh, level design in the game. 
Very, very well done. Right over here. I feel like that's a trap, right? Anybody else get that vibe? No, wrong button. You can hear somebody. See, the sound is so good, you can really get a directional thing. Even on my kind of, you know, uh, medium level headphones here. Oh, that's the Stoneheart one. I want that one. I want the fraternity party one. Uh, I don't care about that one. Where's my uh, pit boy? Now I can go in and uh, tear that one off because it's leading me astray. Take that one off. Uh, turn that off. And miscellaneous. Now let's try that again. Look on the map. Now, okay, now we're facing in the right direction. Let's go. It's easily, you can get easily confused. Oh. Prison marshal. I hear you. It's up above. Yep, there he is. Look, they jump down in this game, by the way. In Fallout 4, they do not jump down. Oh! And they do not bring as many friends, apparently. I don't think so. Ah, oh, there's that rat away. There's that rat away. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Delivery. All right, I want to go to the party. Come on, let's go. Party time. Oh, right here. All right, what's that, everybody? What's that? Name those Greek symbols. Come on, some of you went to school. Just has an M on that side now. Right here, come on. I know some of you know what that is, right? Some of you went to college like me. Uh, the Sims 4 PC. There we go. The only game I play on PC is The Sims. The Sims is a great game. I've played, I played uh, all The Sims. I actually bought Sims 4 for my daughter. She loves it. Great game. Great game. I just don't have enough time for Sims. You know, I, I got that's like my real life is The Sims, right? You got so many things to do in your day, and you're doing all these tasks, and you're assigning people, and you know, you're trying to take care of the people you care about. <laughs> my real life is like The Sims. Open. Let's go to the pie house. Ironically, I mean, I'm grateful uh, for the right away, but maybe, hey, uh, still be alive but if he took it like he was supposed to. There you go. That's true. Wasted on Nuka Shine. Find the source of the dangerously potent beverage. Oh, this is the Nuka Shine uh, quest that we haven't done yet. Look at this. Somebody's been partying in here. Oh, that's cool. This is the Nuka Shine. We didn't even do this quest when it came out. Ah! Holy mackerel. They've been partying big time up in here. Warning. Please do not feed the animals. Ha ha ha. Jerks. Vault Tech University. Look at this place, just like I remember it. Up! Oh. What are you doing in here? Fraternity members only! Apparently, there's something down here. I love it when you just find stuff randomly. Whoa. Plastic. <laughs> see, I, I see, I don't see all the uh, quests and all that stuff. I see plastic. I see uh, screws. I see... When I look at stuff, even in real life sometimes, I'm like, oh, look, steel, plastic, lead. <laughs> That's when you know I've been playing lots of Fallout. Gotcha. Trollman glasses. There we go. Man, look at this. Tons of bottles in there. Somebody got a cooking pan on their head. <laughs> Somebody was the dealer. Dealing some cards. Pledges. Huh. Get that clown hat. Oh, there's a final initiation. Oh, uh, we we're gonna we're gonna save that. We're gonna save that for my other playthrough. Someone's having a party somewhere. Oh, it's a jukebox right here. 
Hope I don't get striked for that music. I hope I don't get striked for it. Apparently, the uh, in-game music is not affected by the jukeboxes. They're all, like, in a separate thing. Look at this place. This place is trashed. That's where we came in. Oh, because we went downstairs there. That's right. We got to go upstairs here. Really? Watching that hell. Attention, clothes required to ride. Think of others. Okay. Finding the vats where it's actually pretty good. Uh, even though it's live, you know, it doesn't pause the game. Investigate what the party goers were drinking. Try it. Probably some Nuka Cola Quantum. What are they drinking? Nuka Shine, right there. Vintage Nuka Shine. Uh, drink a bottle of Nuka Shine. All right, time to get wasted. I actually can't drink alcohol anymore because of my medical conditions. But that doesn't mean this can stop you guys. Enjoy, but you know, be careful out there. Be careful. What am I doing? Buttons B. There we go. Uh, we're gonna have some Nuka Shine. So cool. We found it where the Nuka Shine starts. Uh, why is there no Nuka Shine in there? Vintage Nuka Shine under V. There we go. Whoa. Clear out all the party crashers. Investigate what the paragraphs were drinking. Experience the effects of Nuka Shine. Okay. Tripping hard here. Check the terminal. Let's see messages. Oh, read all that in our other in our other playthrough. I don't read the stuff out here on on Xbox. We'll have to come back, read all that out in my PC playthrough. I hear somebody. Party Crasher! Party Crasher with a silver fork. That's who I hear. I hear him on the stairs. Kill human like creatures. Whoop. Pistol whip him. Crazy party crashers. Got that done. Man, I just want to loot everything in here. Wait, we forgot to check the cabinet. Or mirror. Man, we're like uh, tripping big time. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I passed out. I passed out, everybody. Half of the fun of Nuka Shine is, is that you never know what crazy place it will take you. Oh, nice. That's appropriate. At the exact time in which I do that. Look at my crew. Look, that was actually my flaming pitchfork there. I like that pitchfork. Hey, Tom Hawk, what's up? I want that TV. There we go. I never looked downstairs uh, when I went there. Well, now you know. You were number one in your class. Unfortunately, you were homeschooled. Oh, you know what this is like? They did this in Lord of the Rings Online. They had a keg where you would drink from it and then you would randomly appear somewhere in the world. All right. Well, apparently, luckily I brought a, a warm, some warm clothes. We were way out in the middle of nowhere. Let's get up here. All right. Awesome. 
Man, the graphics in here are awesome. Especially, I'm on the I'm on the Xbox One X, so it has 4K resolution. I don't know if you guys can see it on your stream because you guys just seen it 1920 by 1080, uh, but it is beautiful. Beautiful. Wish you were here. Beautiful. All right. Now, again, if you want to play with Xbox with me next time, I'll be playing on PS4, uh, Xbox, and PC next week. I think that's enough for this one. We found a cool thing. And we got drunk, and we passed out, and we ended up randomly on the map. Let's see where we're at. Where are we at? We're way out here. Oh, my gosh. I'm way too low level to be out there. Now, one of the cool things is I did create my camp right over here, so I can get myself back to where I started. Nice and easy. <laughs> Look at the crew. Look at the crew. It looks great even on Xbox One S. It does. It looks pretty amazing. Uh, now, I'd love to broadcast you guys in 4K. That's kind of my next big upgrade. Uh, I did get, uh, of course, a sponsorship from Elgato. Much love to my bros over at Elgato. Uh, that uh, They sent me an HD 60 Pro, which I'm using right now. And it is awesome. 60 frames per second. Pushing it out. If you guys are looking for awesome, uh, not only streaming gear, but just regular gear for your, uh, for your computer, uh, I would go check them out. Their stream deck is awesome. I love their uh, green screen, all that stuff. Uh, but they did send it to me for free, so I do appreciate that. <laughs> Hashtag sponsor. Uh, and I will always tell you when I get sponsored stuff because I am straight up, straight up legit uh, honest with my crew. Honest with my tycoons up in here. I think we're good there. All right. I got to go find my, my bases behind this giant rock. Where be my base? There it is. Ah, almost fell. Now I'm like an old school gamer where I think you should have to go to bed to log out. I'm that that kind of gamer. That's just me. That's just me. Now I actually don't have a bed, but we'll just use it. I could make one. We'll just use that as some RP right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and log out right there. Pick that up next time. And uh, let's go. Let's quit out of there to the main menu. And then, of course, watch this as I do a switcheroo. Watch, I can do it live on stream, too. I just do that. And then I push this button. Turn on my PS4. It's going to go no signal because it's going to switch. My PS4 is going to kick on. Just how awesome Elgato is, by the way. Look at that. Boom, right on the PS4. Now, I actually have a switcher, uh, and this works so much better, uh, so much better than my uh, other card that I had. I have a really old Avermedia Media card. Uh, it works way, way better. Look at those cool games I got. Spider-Man, the Grand Tour game, March Madness going on right there. Uh, we got Black Ops going on, Apex, Stardew, Ace Combat, of course, 76, and of course, way over here, you guys know, some Red Dead, right? Got some serious Red Dead. Now, I haven't gone through most of these games. I only have so much time. But we're going to go ahead and play some 76. Let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and pop over to some PS4. Boop. Say hello to Googles. What's up, Googles? How you doing? Oh, I got you muted. Don't look. I had, my cr I had him muted. I'm sorry if someone was talking to me on Xbox. I'm sorry. I just realized I had you guys muted. Uh, what's up, Googles? Apparently nothing. Uh, there you go. Did you pay off your stuff already? No. Good night, there you go. Hey, hey, you ready to play some 76? Yep, that point. All right. Let's do this. Nice, nice. Hey, Kiz. Yeah, again, if you have a comment or question for me, my name is Kismet. You can put Kiz or Kismet in the chat. You can highlight in red. Uh, I know you're talking directly to me, just like uh, Sir Avin did, uh, because I got focus there. Uh, I said, Kesmet, can you make sure you don't on Stardew Valley on your PC this time? Make sure you don't on Stardew Valley on your PC. What do you mean? What do you mean don't? Don't play it on, on PC? I don't know. Make that make that a complete sentence so I understand. Have you found any of the Super Marts I have in my other game? Not this one. Uh, I like the Fraternity Quest. Yeah, that's the first time I saw that. Actually, I... I Totally slack. Really? Really? It's gonna make me log in again. It was working earlier. Okay. Apparently that's what we're doing next. Alright, hold on, I gotta log in or something. Hold on. Oh, I know what it is. Wait a minute. 
I know what it is. It has nothing to do with the game. It has to do with Kismet fail. Uh, watch this as I fix it, everybody. Hold on. Now, first, I got to go Stealth Boy. Uh, and I'll be right back. Didn't know I had a stealth boy, did you? I'm the only one on Twitch that does. Ha 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 I know exactly what it is. Uh, it was a kismet fail. Uh, because I have so many computers running, I don't have enough Ethernet ports in my uh, router because uh, I hate playing games over Wi-Fi. I don't like playing games on the stream via Wi-Fi. Uh, so I physically plug in the Ethernet port. So I had to take it out of my Xbox and put it in my PS4. There we go. There we go. Now we got it going on. Hold on, I'm going to cover that because it asked for me my stuff, which it probably is. There we go, signing in. No, we're good. That was my bad. That was me. Because <laughs> I was updating my Xbox to make sure my my uh, all my stuff. I had updated this one earlier, and then I updated my Xbox. I usually check all of my systems before I stream. Usually, you know, three, four hours before in case I need to update them and they take a while. Uh, all right, let's get it. All right, PS4. I love the PS4 controller. I love this touchpad. Uh, they did a fantastic job. Also comes with rechargeable batteries uh, by default, or as a rechargeable uh, unit because you just plug it in. You don't. It doesn't actually have any batteries that you take in and out of there. Oh, ipsy dipsy. There we go. Uh, look at that. Look at my crew. We're running around before. There's Raz on the right, uh, and I forget everybody else's name. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so bad with names. I'm so bad. All right, again, we're doing all the consoles today. We're doing all the stuff. Uh, yeah, I've not paid it off. I'm about We're about uh, more than halfway now, right? A little bit more than halfway. Uh, again, normally I don't say, hey, everybody, you know, pay my rent or whatever. I don't make a dime. I don't make a dime on the stream, uh, but I do invest in things like taking my mods to TwitchCon or getting, you know, an Xbox or whatever so I can play games with you guys here on the stream. Stuff like that. Uh, and if you guys want to contribute to that, feel free to donate. Feel free to throw a dollar in the hat there. It does help a lot. But know that you're never required. You never have to come in and hit, uh, you know, the, the subscribe. You never have to hit the donate. Never have to drop bits. I do appreciate you just being here in the stream. Uh, big time. Uh, that is not a requirement for my stream, unlike that one streamer who I'm not going to mention who said, well, you're you're uh, you're leeching off of the Twitch. I'm like, oh, God. Can you hear yourself? Can you hear yourself, what you're saying? You know, sometimes I see people, they say stuff, and I'm like, oh, have they never, have they not have been around other people? Have, did their parents not tell them to talk like that and talk down to other people uh, and treat them poorly like that? I don't know. I don't know. It's just me. I guess it's just me, everybody. Woo. Getting some load times in there. Load my base. Oh, now, see, that makes me want to rebuild all my bases on all the different platforms, right? Come on, little base. Load in. Dee, 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 dee. We There we go. All right. So we're in Morgantown. It's one of my favorite events, by the way, Morgantown here, especially your lower level. Uh, now I got to learn. Now I got to figure out what all the buttons are in this one. <laughs> all right. Trigger. Pull out the weapon. Fire the weapon. Left is aim. Uh, right is uh, button smash, which is about the same as uh, same as uh, cons or Xbox. Circle is Pip Boy. X is uh, interact. Try or uh, uh, yeah, triangle is jump. And then this is switch weapons. There we go. Uh, and then share is bringing that up. Options. The thing that makes the hardest thing for me to remember on this thing is that you press this button right here in the middle, and that's what that lets you go in and out of your view. Uh, and then if you hold it down. Of course, it goes into your workshop. That's that's the thing that is the hardest for me to remember. Uh, big time. And then, of course, the uh, three lines, which is the exit. I, don't know, I think that's options. Oh, no, the, the pad's the exit. The pad's the exit. That's right. That's that's the pad. There we go. Uh, the pad is the exit. Three lines is on Xbox. That's on that's on this one. 
over here. And it's actually not the exit. The actual, <laughs> the other one's the exit. Uh, there we go. I suck at base building. I love base building. I that's one of my favorite things to do. I love to build. Uh, you'll see that in basically every game that I play. Oh, look at this pitiful base. Pitiful base. But let's go ahead and hook up some friends here. Let's go ahead and go to R1. I see Google's is on right now. Invite to team. There we go. We'll send out the invite. Now, again, if you want to play with me on PS4 or playing live right now, you can get on my Discord. Uh, we'll get into trouble. Anything specific you want to do, Google's? I'm just fighting some robots. All right, awesome. Well, if you need some help, I'm going to just throw down some workshop stuff, and then I'll uh, hunt you down. Dee, 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 dee. All right, we All got right. Let's see. Let's, let's try to get our workshop squared away over here on this playthrough as well. I find having your workshop squared away is super useful. Uh, build. I thought I hit build. Oh, I lack the components. I don't have enough aluminum. Not enough aluminum for that one. Uh, that one we can do. Which we already got a chemistry station. Uh, and we've got... looks like a weapons bench. Alright, the weird weapons bench. I, I don't like that weapons bench. Hold on. Now, here's a great little trick. What you can do is store this. Square and then square again. And then, like, with walls, like, you can, you can store a wall and then bring it back and turn that wall into a doorway. Or turn it into a window. Which I think is amazing. I think that's a, one of the massive improvements that I absolutely love about the game. Uh, is that ability to have a single piece that you can switch to different things, right? That's really, really cool. Kez, what level are you on each? Uh, I can't tell you. I really don't think about levels. I think about just having fun along the way. Uh, this one, I think I'm level 14. Uh, on my main character, I'm like level 40, so I'm not really that far. Uh, and then I think my other one, I'm level like 15 or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. I just, uh, I get in the game and I just like, you know, work with what I got, right? Work with what you got. And then we're going to need our armor bench for sure. Uh, oh, that's right. We can't do that because we don't have uh, enough materials. We've got our food going over there in the corner. So all of that looks good. Oop, and eventually we can unlock our our little uh, brewing station and our uh, fermenter. Uh, let's get out of the workbench. There we go. Now, of course, one of the things I absolutely want to do every time I log in or when I'm logging out, either way. Hey, Foxy, what's up? Thanks for being there. Uh, is to make sure that I repair my stuff. Otherwise, what will happen is, is uh, I will... Uh, oh, I don't have enough. Look, I don't have enough aluminum. I will uh, basically... My weapons will get broken. Right? Now, right now, I'm also overburdened. So, we probably want to scrap some stuff. We'll scrap all the junk. That'll reduce our weight. Uh, we can scrap these extra pistols. There we go. Probably want to switch to weapons. There we go. Oh, look at all these weapons I got in here. Oh, there's my heated pitchfork. Yay, I love my heated pitchfork. Scrap all this out. We're also getting mods when you scrap it. I would say in Fallout 4, you want to sell this stuff versus scrap it, right? Scrap it later when you have plenty of caps. Uh, like me, I'll get millions, billions of caps. I'm not getting either. You can you go look at my playthroughs. I'll literally make billions uh, in the game. Uh, but uh, one of the things that I do find uh, in the game in this game, that you want to do the reverse. Instead of selling your stuff to the vendor, you really want to scrap it so you get in all these mods uh, for that specific weapon that you're trying to work on. Now, I love my heated pitchfork here. I think it's awesome. Uh, I can go ahead and switch uh, over here. Oh, I don't even have it on there. No, it's right there. Right there. I think this is awesome. Poke him with a heated pitchfork. <laughs> Uh, again, I always like to have a melee weapon. All right, you got this weapon. You got that weapon. Now, what I would do is I would go ahead and probably switch to something else. Uh, like the 10 millimeter. What do we got? Actually, that's got the most ammo. Yeah, let's go with the 10 millimeter, though. 10 millimeter is good. Then you go ahead and just swap back and forth. Just pressing this button. That was basically the left, left uh, directional. And we'll go out to third person. And now I'm going to go find Google. Now, Google's in a... Google's level 84. <laughs> that won't stop me from going to level 84 zone. There we go. I randomly found a heated pitchfork. Me too, hey, Mr. Wizard. That's where I found this. I randomly got it. 
uh, on on Xbox, and I'm jelly now. All the rest of my playthroughs, I want to have the heated pitchfork. It's funny. It's funny. All right, we need to go to options. We can go ahead and find out where Google's at. I'm sure he's like in a nuclear zone or something fun. Let's go see what he's up to. Now, I like to just jump around with other people. See, there's there's many elements of this game, and that's why I give it huge credit. Uh, where uh, I can just do my own thing. You know, if you like, if you're a solo wanderer, you you know want to wander around, do your thing. You can do that. You can hang out with your friends. You can fast travel to them, just like that. Cost you nothing. Look at them all. Last time we were on PS4. So, you know, it's great to hang out with your friends. You take a photo. Uh, amazing base, by the way, uh, was done there. I imagine to see his base now, right? That was before the update come through. And you have like two, almost three times the size of your base that you had before, which is pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, check out his old videos for base building. Yeah, I have a whole entire series, by the way, uh, on uh, you can go check out all my stream guides. Uh, I have a whole entire series on how to become an awesome settlement overseer, where you can learn how to build, uh, how to do the mechanics of building, how it works, how lighting works, and all that stuff. Uh, still applies to uh, Fallout 76, uh, along with Fallout 4. Uh, I love the I love the settlement building. That was one of my favorite parts of Fallout 4, and that's probably why I played it a lot longer than if it didn't have that. I probably wouldn't have played it as much. I would have played through the you know like normal uh, all the Fallout's I played through there. Uh, I discovered an ash heap reason, region. There's Gilgos. Whoa, look at that killer weapon. Heaps straight up to the south. Straight up to the south of the heap. You lead the way, I'll just follow you. That's an awesome weapon, by the way. That's epic. Ha <laughs> ha. That's epic. All right, let's get our let's get our puny little ten millimeter pistol. Let's stay on his six. My job is to is to help him as much as I can, which is not going to be much, but it's going to be funny. Level fifteen. I can shoot fifteens. Whoa, he's got like a, a energy weapon. Epic. <laughs> oh, he, he he liquefied him. That is cool. Oh, but here's somebody. Look, I actually damaged him. Whoa, he's got a grenade launcher or something. Look at that rat away. All right, where's he going? Oh, we hear some action. Get in there. Get them cars. Got no bullets. <laughs> Gotta pick another weapon. I gotta pick another weapon. I'm out of bullets already. I like that weapon too. Look at that sucker. That's a cool weapon, right? Uh, Kismet, I really can't pass the first part. The bartending game calls to me. There you go. I don't know what that means, but okay, Kiz, what level do I need? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the Tapper? You're playing Tapper is what you're talking about, right? Oh, man, I used to play Tapper in the arcade when it first came out. It was like a brand new game, Tapper. And, you know, there used to be a line for that. You know, I don't know if you've ever been to arcades, for those of you who haven't been to arcades. Uh, what you do when you want to play the game, and it's a little rude, I think, but you got to walk up and put your quarter on the game. And sometimes there'd be a line of quarters. Like uh, some of you know Street Fighter, right? Street Fighter would have that, you know, tons and tons of, People putting quarters up there. Either they want to play versus you, so they just put a quarter in there, or they would, uh, uh, or what they would do is uh, put the quarter on the screen because they want to play uh, themselves. A the loot in here. I'm sure there's crazy tons of loot I'm missing out on. Where the heck did he go? Oh, look at this. Whole up area here. Keeping my weapon out. So. It was all me, everybody. It was all me. I did it. <laughs> uh, there we go. 
Hell, fuzzy nuts! I randomly found a guitar sword. Awesome. Awesome. Man, I wish you'd come play with us, El Fuzzy Nuts. We could have played earlier. Oh. Oh, sweet. Some shotgun. Shotgun. I switched back my shotgun. Cool. I like the shoddy. I, I'm a big fan of shotguns when they work. When they don't work, they I suck. I have over a thousand shotgun shells if you want some. Yeah, if I'm hurting for them, I might uh, hit you up for a little. But that's okay. You can hold on to them for now. I hate to take loot on console, too, because I don't play it all that much. Uh, so, you know, that's shotgun shells that could be better spent. And I've also finished, so if you just want to do a mission, like, I'm cool just tagging along. Oh, well, I have, like, the low-level ones, like, you know, Morgantown Airport and stuff like that, which is one of my favorite. If you want to do that, that's cool, or I can just run with you, whatever you want to do. I uh, I try to just help that's people. Cool. I'll do yours. I think it'd be pretty epic with the weapons you got. I think we're going to blaze through that in no time. Uh, all right, let's go. Uh, sounds good. All right, jumping over there. All right, all the way up to Morgantown Airport up here. Now, this is one of the starter quests that you do way up here. Uh, it's really great because it's just like tons of mobs come in. They're low-level mobs. You can wipe them out. You can get tons and tons of loot as well. Uh, I might just stab them with my pitchfork. And I find the melee weapons, by the way, the melee weapons are better than the guns, uh, especially early on. If you have like a pitchfork or whatever, you get an instant higher damage with your melee weapons than you do with your actual pistols and whatnot because you have to uh, spec into those, right? You have to use your perk points to get in there. That guy's looking, he's a good looking guy. He's a good looking guy. There we go. Mr. Winston, look at that. You guys are getting hooked up with buddies already in the chat. There we go. What system do you play on? He plays on Xbox One S. Look at that. El Fuzzy Nuts does too. Look at that. You just made a friend, Mr. Uh, hey, Mr. Winston. You need somebody to back you up in the wasteland? You never know. Ask him. Also got tons of awesome people on my uh, on my Discord, by the way. You can go in there. You can uh, use the Discord to chat back and forth. You can also uh, get in there and uh, uh, look for other people who are like you on whatever system you're playing on. We at Google's. He's just a nameplate. Here he comes. Never gets old. I love it every single time. All right, heading in. Now you're like, kids, but why don't you use the in-game, uh, the in-game sound? Whoa! Smoke that dude. Why don't you use the in-game sound? Because uh, if you've uh, watched any of my previous streams, you know what? People are rude. I don't need no homophobic or uh, racist slurs. You're welcome to just murder everybody in here. Go get them. All right. Murder them all. Now, again, sometimes you just want to play with your friends, right? You're not too worried about it. I just got to run behind and watch them murder everybody. <laughs> yeah, remember that time you killed me? Payback, baby. A nice rat away there. Hear him on the left. Man, the sound in this game is so good. It's so good, I totally heard him to the left. Going in. Now, the first thing I always like to do is clean house, right? Clear all the baddies. Uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> see, that's what you got to look forward to in Fallout 76, get some weapons and murderize an evil bad dudes. That's awesome. Look at him reload. Google's got the beast gun. Got my puny little shotgun, but still effective if it had ammo. <laughs> if it had ammo, it'd be awesome. It's okay. I got another pistol. Let's reload. Now, again, what this does, it comes in waves. Uh, so as long as you're in group with somebody else, you get the loot too. Uh, so again, that's why it's really nice. 
Uh oh, I hear a scorch beast! Ah! Scorch beast! Take that! Oh, I hear him. I'm gonna watch him mow him down. Friends, you're right. <laughs> I just mowed all those down. Look at this. This is like loot.com. You just get yourself tons of sweet, sweet loot. Now, normally, I don't like to be fast-tracked or anything like that, but it's okay when you're hanging out with your friends. I, this is not. This is what I call not a serious gameplay or a serious playthrough where I just go in and just, this is just for fun. Just for fun hanging out with you guys and whatnot. Uh, I typically don't read terminals when I'm on console or do, do really heavy storyline. Uh, I just have fun. Don't forget the fun part of a game, right? That's what games are for. Games are for having lots and lots of fun. Is Lurker section where you share the info for Discord? No, you go in there and say, hey, I want to be part of the Wasteland Tycoons. My mods will upgrade you uh, to Wasteland Tycoons. Mods will be watching that Lurker chat. Uh, as well as uh, once you do that, there is an introduce yourself section on the Discord. Uh, and let them know what, you, uh, what games you like to play, uh, what you're on, a console, Xbox, PS4, or PC, or Switch, or whatever you're on. Uh, people look in there all the time, uh, to hook up with other peeps, uh, for playing some games. And of course, you want to play with me, you're always welcome to come play with me on, uh, Xbox, PS4, or eventually on the Switch, too. Oh, look out! Got another dude, what's up? Show him some love, that's what I love about. Hello. See, look at this. Ain't no PvP going on here. We're just uh, waving at each other, having a good time. Nice excavator uh, armor. We know how to get that now, don't we? We know how to get that. One more round. Oh, that one was mine. Sniping them suckers. We're going to get some cargo loot. Come on, stick your face out of there. Stick your face. You know what? I think oh, that's what I'll do. You know what I do every single week? I'll flip. I'll flip PS4 and Xbox. Right? I'll flip it back and forth. Uh, yeah, there's a Fallout section. Yep. And you go into the Fallout section. You can read all the stuff in there. You can post uh, in new information. If you uh, see something about Fallout, like a uh, you know, new thing coming out, you see something on Twitter, uh, you can feel free to post it in there for the rest of the community. Of course, you know, follow those. Follow those guidelines. Hey, Bunzo, what's up? Behind you, bro. Right in the gonads. Gotcha. Well, there's more. One more wave to go. Now, this is a really great place to go. Uh, but watch out that you're not looting and all of a sudden there's like 10 million dudes on you. But don't forget to loot before they disappear. It's Google's. Just trying to get the loot. Oh, more shotgun ammo. Switch back to the shoddy. Oh, yeah. Get it loaded. Nice. Check. We missed any loot. There's nothing more tragic than missing your loot. Oh, need some water. Need some water action. Now watch out. See, this is why I make my pit boy clear. Uh, because you're sitting here, right, you know, doing this. And all of a sudden, ten guys come running at you. Oh, I got a noodle cup. Ooh, that's good. Let's have some pumpkins. Cargo bot. Woohoo. See, look at this. Look how cool this is. Dark one, what's up? Hey, everybody. Much love. Much love to everybody here. Showing you the love right here. That's what I love about. That's what I love about Fallout, right? Most of the community is just awesome. Just amazing. Right? Lots of epic people here. Uh Yeah, you know the funny thing is uh I used to live in California. Uh born and raised in California, and I was there during that drought. 
California actually gets its uh, uh, all of its water uh, from the Colorado. It actually channels it down. You can go in the middle of the desert. Oh, here it comes. Uh, you can go in the middle of the desert, and there's crystal blue water running through the middle of the desert. That's trippy. It's pretty trippy. Oh, let's get that loot. Why can't I get it? Get out of here, guy. There it is. Oh, sweet, sweet look. Look at all. Got a bunch of stem packs in there. I also finished the uh, quest, which got us a bunch of stuff. Look at that. Everybody coming in, getting the loots. Like it. Like it. All right. Well, we actually got to investigate here. Now we're overburdened. What a surprise there. I don't know. No surprise to all of you, I'm sure, who's, who's anybody's been in my stream for more than five seconds, uh, knows that I love to be overburdened. Uh, this game was the biggest appointment of my life. Uh, Sir String, that's because you said your expectation's too high. You thought it was going to be Fallout 5, didn't you? It's not Fallout 5. It's Fallout 76, a complete and different take on it. I'm sorry you didn't like it. I really enjoyed it. I have lots of fun playing it because I knew what it was going to be. And I also knew that uh, it was going to have issues on launch and all of that stuff, just like World of Warcraft and SimCity Online, and I can list 100 other games that are always a train wreck on launch. Uh, so I knew what it was. I knew exactly what it was going to be. It's a prequel. No uh, companion NPCs. There's plenty of NPCs all over. But there's no companion NPCs. It's not a traditional Fallout. If you go into it like that, you're not going to be disappointed. But if you go into it expecting it to be a Fallout New Vegas... Or if you're expecting it to be a Fallout 3 or a Fallout 4 or whatever, or even a Fallout 1, it's not like that. It's, it's a whole different take on it. Uh, if you approach it that way, you won't be approached. Uh, and I knew what it was going to be ahead of time. So that's why I didn't set my expectations. I didn't set my expectations for a Fallout New Vegas. So so I still have fun in it. I have lots of fun. Of course, I'm playing with my friends right now on, on Xbox. I was playing on, uh, PS, or I'm playing on PS4 right now. Actually, I was playing on Xbox before. And I was then also playing on PC. So make sure to go in it with the right attitude. Go in it with a thing. Now, here's the thing, though. If you haven't played it in a while, they added a tons of storage. They've doubled, almost tripled the size of your camp. They fixed a lot of bugs. They added a lot of events, right? A ton of different events. So I got my events up here. Uh, uh, bam, right here. They added a ton of stuff to the game, and they're adding even more stuff to the game, right? And then they also took those suggestions that people have been giving them and say, look, these are the things that we would like you to fix. Now, of course, it's an online game, so they could add back in a companion NPC, right? It's based on the Fallout engine, right? It's like Fallout with friends, right? With four times the uh, size of the map, and of course, 10 times the quality of graphics, right? So they could add that back in later. They could add in companion NPC, sure. Another whole vault opens up. You can get companions out of there and go on a whole nother storyline. They could do that. I think they should have not done any of the PVP to start, and then added a PvP mode later, like they're doing now, the survival mode. I think they should add zero PvP at the very beginning. They should have focused on. Uh, they should have focused more on the game and PvP, and add that later on. Uh, personally, that's just me. Uh, but of course, look, you got all this stuff to do. So I think that's pretty cool that they listen to feedback and then they deliver on it. Well, a lot of other companies, they're not like that. They're arrogant. What they'll do is they'll say, "We know what our players want. They want loot boxes. They want." Uh, you know, a gated progression. They want it where you know, somebody who has lots of money can buy their way to be the best in the game and everybody else who's poor, who just spent 60 to 100 to $200 or $400 on this game uh, can't afford it anymore because they spent all their money just getting the game and they don't have 10 grand to drop and buy all this stuff. You know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking You know who I'm talking about. Gamers. People who make games who are not gamers make it with last and loop up and a loot drop and they're just trying to make money which is okay you got to make money as a business but if you're a gaming business you got to make a good game too you want to make money do a spider-man like on ps4 that spider-man is incredibly well done does it have loot boxes every thrown up in your face everything does it have paywalls no it doesn't it's just a great game red dead redemption incredibly great game does it throw loot boxes in your face every two seconds? No. Nah. You can play that game for hours and replay it over and over again. Uh, awesome game. Yeah, you know, hey, there's lots of games like that. Lots of games. All right, I was going to make ammo is what I was going to do when I stopped yapping. I was going to scrap some of this stuff, too. All right, come on. Stop yapping, Kismet. Start scrapping. No yapping. Let's do the scrapping. 
Look at that fire axe. Ooh, hmm, hmm. 25 or 40. Oh, and this is a level one. See, that's a level one. Sorry, bro. Once you get past, you got to get past that level one stuff. I'm going to go with the fire axe because it's higher level. The higher level you get, the better I find. Uh, if you keep your weapons at your level, uh, I find they have a tendency to work a lot better uh, against enemies. There's another level five pitchfork. Now, we could have uh, upgraded that, by the way, uh, later on. But right now, I'm just trying to scrap stuff to get those mods. I think on this guy, I'm going to go uh, much heavier uh, much heavier into crafting than in the Wasteland Tycoon style. So I can make uh, uh, armor and uh, weapons and all of that. All right, so we got to investigate Morgantown Airport. Let's do it. This is some starter quest action here. Though we did all the beginning stuff over there. Now we're over here. And uh, I just had Googles myrtleize all of the mobs, which is awesome. Super fun. We need all hands at the Morgantown Airport. I repeat, all responders report to Morgantown Airport right away. Bring any weapons you can. Pretending to be dead. Oh, what the heck? Please hurry. There's not much time. Chavez out. Chavez is out. Play. Who's that turret at? Down there somewhere. Huh. We have to go straight on through Raider Country to find them. And I don't have the time over here. Right, now. So, right there. I hate to say it, but I gotta tell her it ain't gonna happen. Not now. Prepare. My team's the last line of defense. And if I take Get that turret going. Now, if you think you don't find anything, I actually have, I've done it like a million of those guys and searched a million of them and I've only found one thing on one of them. Okay, I think I got to go in here. That's where I'm going? I don't know where the heck I'm going. Most of the time I have no clue what the heck I'm doing. Where I'm going and what I'm doing. Uh, there you go. So yeah, if you take it uh, with, uh, you take it in the right way, you'll have lots of fun. Uh, all right, I'm off to bed. Have a great rest of the stream. Good night, Wrath of Wall. Thanks for being here. Uh, good night, T-Sandy. Thanks for being here as well. Uh, we're going to have some fun here. We're going to check out uh, uh, the other thing. Uh, Elder Scrolls Blades after this. A little bit of mobile. I'm going to show you what I've been doing uh, on my mobile stuff. Uh, we're playing on all the platforms today. And then, of course, Astroneer coming up. Uh, doing some of that. Oh, look at the motor, everybody. You shot at me. I shoot back. Not well, though. Whoa. Just about, just about shot Googles. Oh, look at this guy. Bringing a melee weapon to a gunfight. Go get him, Googles. Where you at? Oh, he's gone. Guess it's me. Thanks for all the shotgun. Why do you have a pistol if you have a shotgun bullets? It's good to say. Why you got a pistol? Another guy. So I like the shotgun. The one shotter. Are you shooting at me somewhere back there? Where you at? All right. I think my quest is up here. Oh yeah. Right here. Oh, the overseer's cash. Play. Overseer's I used to love coming here on weekends. Taking flight lessons. Behind me. Feels like I walked into a nightmare. Those scorched things are everywhere. I kept quiet. They didn't see me. I managed to observe them for a bit. Whatever this disease is, it seems to completely take over its host. The ones that used to be human, eventually they go rigid. Some kind of stasis. 
And if they stay like that for too long, they sort of burn up. That's a terrible way to go. Out. Vesuvius in reverse. I wondered what could possibly cause all this. And then I got my answer. Swooped down from the sky. Screeching. Breathing. Infecting everything. I don't know how to fight this. But we need to consider all our options. Even... the nukes. We find the source of this scorched plague and wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. More an idea? But first things first, we can't let the disease spread to us. Looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. This is the Overseer, signing off. Take it easy, Overseer. Sounds like a nice lady, by the way, the Overseer. I see you there, little rad roach. All right, learn about the inoculation project. Now, here's one of the things you want to do in this game, everybody, is you definitely want to limit the amount of uh, things you have going at the same time. I find it very difficult uh, to see what the heck I'm doing, right? Because I have so many quests going uh, at the same time. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta get rid of some of these quests. Trying to figure out how to switch the thing, just like this. There we go. Uh, found one of the overseas personal journals. She grew up in Appalachia. She seems to be leaving holidays to places. Find the next journal in Sutton. Miguel's campsite. Let's turn that off. There we go. Final departure. Learn about the inoculation project. So, we'll go ahead. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn personal matters off for right now. And then now, we'll be aiming in the correct direction, right? Uh, which is currently the exit. Love that weapon, by the way. What is that weapon that you got? Night, uh, Raz. It's machine gun. Speaking of Raz, look at Raz playing the thing. <laughs> look at my crew, and I've got my glowy pitchfork over there. Pretty awesome. That is an awesome weapon. Uh, what's up, cookies? Nice to be in there. We're having lots of fun, of course. Uh, playing some Fallout 76. We're playing it on uh, PS4 right now. Having some fun. We played on Xbox earlier. We played it on PC. Uh, and, of course, uh, sometimes I just like to run around and get into trouble. Run around and blast stuff. Google's backing me up here. Now, of course, I wish we could cross-play. Imagine if we could cross-play as a crew, right? That would be awesome. That would be amazing. Darn Sega. 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 Come on. Let us have some crossplay here in 76. If this game uh, launched with crossplay, oh my gosh. Imagine the craziness that, that would ensue. But I think they could add it. I think if they once they relent and let us do crossplay on games, uh, that'll be awesome. That'll really help games like this, right? The games where you just you're not doing PvP. I don't want to do PvP. I want to just run around uh, and have fun with my friends, right? Do some PvE, do some get be in the Fallout universe like I normally am. But, of course, I uh, have my friends bagging me up. For a second there, I thought I missed. All right. So, learn about the inoculation project. Now, let's make sure that we are going there. How are we doing on time? Ah, oh, we're running out of time. Man, time goes by so fast when I play this game. All right, it's in this direction. Okay. Keep your eyes open for respawn. It's in here. This one? No. Oh, it's up above. I'd love to sit here and loot. That's what my instincts are saying. Loot all of this, Kismet. I'll loot a little bit. <laughs> Where is this thing? 11, 10, 9... 
up. It's up by 10. Oh, it's got to be in the next building. Yeah, it's in the next building. I know it's up somewhere. Right in there. Now, I'm not going to sit here and read out the terminal like I normally would if I was on my primary one. So I'm just going to kind of just click on stuff. There we go. Animal Scorch Research, Introduction. I do like to go through the terminals, even if I'm playing it through for like a second time. Because look at that, I just added. There we go. Oh, got a, got a, a trophy. Awesome. And I got a quest started. Then you go, oh, going to messages. Oh, Scorch Beast, which we did. Scorch Plague. There we go. And then messages. You've yet to really run into the Brotherhood yet. Don't tell me. Can't wait to try that later. There we go. And I got my Somerset special. Ignores 50% of your target's armor. Nice. Uh, let's definitely put that in our thing instead of our stub-nosed here. Uh, one of our first legendaries did you get as you go along. Very nice. Okay. And let's go ahead and pick that. There we go. Oh, we need some water, too. You find in this game you're doing a lot of uh, micromanaging of your dude. Uh, lots of purified water. I am overburdened. Hold on, let's still overburdened. Let's offload some more loot. Where did I see that bench? This way. All right. See, if I'm walking around overburdened, it's kind of hard for Google's because he's running ahead and all of that. Now, we got a few more minutes of uh, Fallout 76 here, and then we're going to play some Astroneer. Uh, let's go ahead and scrap some stuff. Uh, I'm going to scrap this pistol, beer bottle, this bowl. Get this coffee cup going on. Uh, fire. Oh, no, I keep the fire axe. Hatchet. Shotguns. It. We're getting rid of all that. There we go. Now we're no longer overburdened. All right, cool. Uh, study the Dr. Hudson's research. Play the rooftops of Beckley. See, it gives you lots of miscellaneous and random quests that you constantly have in your thing. So you got to, like, be diligent about turning those things off. So that you know where the heck you're going. I believe it's in that direction. It's already ducked into Hudson's research. Hmm. Where do I go to do that? I'll do that here? Let's find out. Where do I go for that quest? Oh. Uh, let's do this. I learned that a responder study uh, learned that a responder scientist was developing an inoculation project against scorch mutants. The work has been carried out in a laboratory at AVR Medical. Oh, I got a level up too. Uh, R1 to show on map. Right here. There it is. Study docs and Hudson's research. Do you have uh, AVR Medical unlocked? Down there? Uh, I would assume so. Yeah, it's that medical building way to the south. I don't have it unlocked. If you want to jump down there, I'll jump to you. Uh, on the way. See, what he'll do is he'll jump there. When you're playing with your friends, it's really cool. So your friends can jump there, and then you can go ahead and click on them... Uh, and then jump there as well. So if I jump there, uh, that's just for tracking because I haven't been there. I could I could go up here though and run you down. Should be out of fast travel on me now.
Yeah, I don't see you on the map. Let me get out and get back in again. Let me see you. Uh, if you press start and then R1 and then you click on my name, it gives you the option to fast travel to the, to the place. Oh, yeah. I was going to do that next if I couldn't see you, but I can see you now. There we go. Uh, there we go. Sorry, it was Roblox Crossway. Morning. Good morning, Skip of the Dam. Well, I shall miss the Kismet live streams, but uh, such is life at work. At least he's on YouTube. Well, there you go. I'm doing better. The flu seems uh, to finally uh, be coming to an end. Well, congratulations, bro. I'm glad you're feeling better. Shout out to Skip of the So many kind and friendly folk. Uh, maybe he does bonus weekend streams. Uh, you never know. Actually, I'm going to be doing uh, Friday and Saturday, uh, as well as I do uh, Saturday night streams as well. You want to see my schedule? It's down below the stream. Uh, I do all sorts of bonus streams all the time. All the time. Like this Friday, we're going to be doing a early morning stream from about uh, 3 a.m. Uh, to about 8 a.m. So if you uh, know that I not normally stream um, on Fridays, this Friday I am. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun, and I might switch around next week where I do Monday, uh, early Monday stream, and then on Friday morning I don't stream. Uh, we're kind of flipping that around, uh, testing that out. All right, here we go. All right, we got a simple mission. To go in here and murder everything. <laughs> That's what we're going to do, everybody. Don't forget the cars, either. We got to murder all of those. <laughs> Let's go! Cars. Motorize those cars. Get the one in the middle. Watch this. Get the one in the middle. You got them all. Nice. Oh. Got them all. All right, where's the entrance to this sucker? All right, going in. Hey, King Liverpool, what's up? Thanks for being here. Good night, kids. Fun stream. Well, thanks for being here, Dark Void. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate that sub love as well. Hope you have a fantastic night. Uh, now, all the people I keep forgetting to follow. I forget to do my follows over here. Uh, getting into it, man. I'm just having so much fun tonight. Uh, let me catch up a little bit. Of course, thanks to Dark Ford again for that subscription. Yuri Burrito coming in. Uh, I Rage Master, which I think I called out before. I'll call out again. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just got to run a lot behind Google's and let them murder everything. All right, just run around. I'll watch you murder everything. Let's do it. One level up. Cleaning house here. Hold on. Today's the day. Today's the day, everybody. It's going to happen. Let's do it. This is going to be the one. This is going to be it. Nope. <laughs> or not. Not much case about getting sick. Woke up three times now, so here I am. Oh, sorry to hear that, man. Sorry to hear that you're sick. I'll see you back there. Ha, ha, ha. 
Ah, Google's up there owning it. Whoa! Saw somebody. There he is. Guys, you're supposed to be going this way. Getting them stamp packs, see? Purified water there. Season quantum. Going for that quantum. Whoop. Snag. It's right here somewhere. Get in there. Oh, I need to get down into that next room. That's right. We got to go. I think we got to go up and then around and then back down. Uh, all right. I think that's where he just was. He was just there. He can't see my quest though, unless he is on the I same quest. Pretty easily. I have a weirdly amazing ability to remember stuff. Like maps. Thanks, kid, man. You're welcome. All right. Now, again, I'm not going to read this out on stream. I've already done it before. Uh, my main one. So we're just going to kind of pop through here real quick. You definitely want to at least pop through these because they do open up stuff sometimes. You know, locations, uh, quests, or whatever. You know, super fast. If you want to read this in the future on YouTube, press pause. All right. Can't do any of that. Okay. Not gonna find blood samples, but we're out of time. All right, I'm on the blood samples quest, but I'm out of time for this today. Uh, we're gonna be doing this again uh, next week, uh, but I'm gonna switch it where PS4 will be first and then Xbox second. Uh, so if you wanna join me for that, it'd be fun. Thanks, Googles. That was pretty epic running around behind you with that amazing weapon you've got. <laughs> no worries, mate. Anytime. I love you. I love your character, too. I love the spectacles uh, with the beard. It's pretty awesome. You got a great character, right? Put one in the chat. You think he's got an awesome character, Almost everybody. A real life re representation. <laughs> oh well, there you go. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Actually, I want to see what my guy looks like on this one. Yeah, pretty close. I used to have red hair. I don't got my fashionable glasses or my fedora on right now. I still got my party hat from uh, Fallout <laughs> from uh, Vault seventy six. All right, so here's the great thing about this game as well. Uh, I am in an interior location. Uh, I can jump out of that interior location uh, and go elsewhere, wherever I put my camp, uh, way over there by the uh, airport. Uh, so I can jump out of there again. Look at look at this awesome thing. I love the photo mode, too. They did a great job. Yeah, lots of fun. Love the character's beard. Yeah, you got little spectacles with the beard. Looks fantastic. Fantastic job. Uh, all right, I'm going to jump over and play some Blades and uh, some Astroneer, and uh, we'll see you next week. All right? All right, let's catch a lot of... I love uh, hanging out. See, it's a lot of fun. Uh, that's why I bought the Xbox and the PS4 is to uh, play with other peeps as well. You know, I can play on PC. But not everybody has a PC and not everybody has a PC that I can play. So I thought, well, I'll get consoles too to play with the community. So if there is a game that you would like to play on uh, on a certain platform, let me know. Uh, and I will uh, get her going on. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop up here uh, to my overseer's office and we'll get all this other stuff ready. Let's go. Okay, and if you are watching this in the future on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for first for watching it to this point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to put someone's name down below. I want you to go ahead and put King Leopold down below in the comments here, uh, as well as hit that bell over there. Hit that like button. You know what to do. You've used YouTube before. And then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Of course, you're going to go ahead and hang around because there'll be another one coming up at some point here on my YouTube channel. So watch for the next one. Again, thanks for being here. Hey everybody, Kismet here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right in the center of the screen. Also, check me out live on twitch.tv slash kismet. I'll see you all next time. 